What is up, guys? It is the Sportster Bradley Walker, and welcome to the Walker Report. Happy Thursday to all you guys out there. And before we start the show, I just want to extend a happy Veterans Day to all of the men and women who have served our country. Thank you so much for what you do. Happy Veterans Day to you. The Walker Report, guys, is part of NGSC Sports. Remember the website, guys. It's NGSCSports.com for all your current sports content. We are also uh, part of In The Zone Sports Talk Radio. We are also being aired on Coast to Coast Entertainment. And the show is sponsored by CreatingZenSpaces.com, a local choice in St. Petersburg, Florida, for house cleaning, organization, decluttering, and pet sitting. It's about finding the peace within you and adding comfort to your life. Guys, remember, Zen Spaces begins with you. Be kind to yourself and one another. And, guys, I am currently wanting to let you know that she is just servicing the St. Petersburg, Florida area. So welcome in, guys. Again, thank you. Hopefully everyone out there is having a great Thursday. One more day until the weekend. So we're almost there. We're almost to the weekend. Uh, let me go ahead, guys, and bring on my two. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good day, guys. All right. All right. I had the day off today, so it was nice to not have to go to work. Yeah, that's what I wanted to mention oh, at the same time because you were you were just, you were debating that last week, so I wanted to yeah. be clear on that. Oh no, no problem, Lucy. Yeah, no, I I had a day off today. Um, I wasn't gonna skip the show. Next, no, Thursday, I, I didn't know you wanted to start it earlier. I didn't want to do it earlier time because we were discussed I, last week. I didn't. I didn't really even get home this after till like one o'clock this afternoon. I was hanging out with right. last night. Okay. One o'clock. I didn't get home till four o'clock this afternoon. I still had to eat dinner and do stuff yeah. around the house. So yeah, yeah. This the there's just no way I was going to be able to do an earlier show because I. Oh, okay. We were kicking around the idea of getting out of get out of work really early, but I didn't end up getting out of work only. I ended up only getting out of work half hour early. So right. So yeah, there's just no way I still have to go home and eat and do stuff around oh, the house oh, like what? nothing. I had oh my god. Uh oh, what's back? Two nothing, Washington. Oh, you're watching the hockey game? Yeah, I got the Wings game on. Mm -hmm. I thought you were saying, "Oh my God, that that the uh, the Panthers re-signed Cam Newton to a ten million." Well, that too. No. Oh my God, too. Like, oh my God, they re-signed him. Yeah, he got re-signed. Well, my co is happy about it anyway since he's his cousin. One zero. Can you run that number by me again? Yes, that is one zero. That is one year, ten million dollars. That is correct. Ten million, huh? Oh, I think it's, I didn't get the amount. Ooh. That was it was just it was just on the bottom of the NFL network screen. I, I, like it. Uh, I got the hockey game on. So do I. I think I think tonight's uh Thursday night game is gonna be a blood anyway. You got Baltimore against Miami. I don't Damn. think it's gonna be a contest. <laughs> Baltimore all the way is gonna be a dog. Official dog away. all day. The yeah, runaway with you. Um guys, I don't really have a lot because I know we usually the final hour we talk about the NFL and NCAA. We're going through all the games and stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's usually what we do in the end. Let me go ahead and start with NASCAR since there was a NASCAR okay. champion oh, crown. Three of them actually. Three of them crowned. Okay. Go yeah, ahead, wait, I, I know. I know Kyle Larson won the oh, the, the cup, right? Is that yeah, he won the cup cup series title. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm all here. Kind of. Kind of figured. Um, Kind of figured that would happen. Um, yeah, it was. It was pretty much a foregone conclusion. Yeah, I mean, he had nine wins. He's really strong on the mile and half mile intermediate tracks. Be a will. It, it just needed a good pit stop in his last stop, and he got one. And it just was. It was unpassable. Um, right. Then uh, Daniel Hemrick won the Xfinity Championship on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, I suppose, because the, they started out late in the day, and it went into the evening. Okay, this is driving me crazy. Yeah. All right, that's better. My phone was on, and I kept seeing it out of the corner of my eye, and it kept looking like this. there was stuff popping up on the screen. Mm. So that was driving me crazy. Now, um, wait, it wasn't delayed or anything, was it? Because you said it started in the morning, and... When it was late in the afternoon, it wasn't delayed by rain or anything, was it? No, I, I, it was started in the early, in the late afternoon, and went into the evening. Oh, okay, but no, but no, no, no rain, no nothing, no, no. It's, okay, it was well, out, it was, it was out in there, it was out in the desert. So if they had gotten rain, it probably hmm. would be just now getting it in. Right. <laughs> that doesn't drive you though. Mm. Right. No, that's the that's the old joke about the desert. It was when it rains, it rains for a week. A week? I thought it was a month. 
<laughs> Either one. Um, okay. But uh, no. Two weeks, um, two weeks. Yeah, 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 definitely. So Daniel Hamrick won the uh, Xfinity Championship on Saturday, on Saturday evening. And um, Sheldon Creed won. It was either Sheldon Creed or Zane Smith. Let me look at that. Yeah, I won the Truck Series Truck Championship. Series. I think it was. Um, if I could remember how to spell series, that would help. Uh, this is why I don't do. This is why I don't have a spelling job. Yeah, Sheldon. No, it was it. Uh, Sheldon Cooper. Oh. Yeah, right. Bradley Cooper. Okay. Uh, uh, Brent, ben Rhodes is the current champion. Yeah. Well, I was just I was just reading something, but on Yahoo.com, I think you mentioned this last week that no NASCAR race uh, will start before 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Correct. Twenty. Mm-hmm. Correct. I heard that. Uh, yeah. There will be no races that start before noon in the Pacific Time Zone. Correct. Uh, every race uh, through mm-hmm. November starts at 3 p.m. or later, and there are just three races in the playoffs that start at 2 p.m. Correct. Uh, it will officially begin with the exhibition Bush Class in Los Angeles Coliseum on February 6th. It begins my birthday. Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah. Ernest two weeks later with the Daytona 500. So that yeah. I guess that'll be the 20th of February. We'll start right. Mm-hmm. Um, there's yeah, just one weekend seven. for the Daytona 500. 21st. To the title race at Phoenix on November 6th, a stretch of 37 races in 38 weeks, counting the All Star yeah. race on May 22nd. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, a jam pack. It's a jam pack. It's, it's go, 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 go all year long. Long. What says uh, that Daytona 500 is a week later than usual because the NFL moves to an 18 week season? Push right. Pull back a week. Super Bowl is on February 13th. Right yeah. smack in the right. Olympics, too, which is still, I think, dumb. Well, it's just the that, Olympics trying to compete against the NFL. That particular day, whatever Olympic events are happening that day are going to be are going to get killed. Yeah, are going to get killed in ratings. I mean, in you might have wanted... Well, I think they're on the same network this time around, but still, I think no, it's... no, no, no. They moved that. They changed that because NBC was supposed to have the um was supposed to have the game, but they gave it to CBS. I believe is what it was. Oops. For for this year, and then. Later on, NBC. I think it's the 2025 game that NBC gets because they won't be having the Olympics. Well, I got one more to say about that. Go ahead. I'll, I'll do it the sky right away. Dumb ass. <laughs> giving up the giving up the Super Bowl for the Olympics. Hmm. Well, no, doing it at the same time. That's stupid. Well, I mean the the Super Bowl is going to crush the Olympics. It's yeah. not. Well, I really don't contest. know. I really don't know if there wasn't for COVID that you wouldn't be having the issue. I don't think there would be. Uh, no, no, because, because it's the Winter yeah, Olympics. Because it's the Winter the right Olympics. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It would be the right year. Yeah, yeah. That's why I put in big, beautiful letters, you know. <laughs> um, and then they should have moved the, moved the Olympics up a week or moved them back a week. Yeah. I mean, I don't – I. I just don't understand why you'd try to compete with the Super Bowl. Nobody else does. Because you're an idiot. That's why. Yeah, everybody else everybody else cancels. You know, everybody else pushes everything. They either have a whole bunch of stuff in the afternoon or they have nothing on that day. I would cancel a root canal for that. <laughs> right? When, I, when I gotta, the, when's the national change? Uh, but, but go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'll be right back. I yeah. apologize. Make your call. When, when is, when when is the national championship game? Do you know? Is it in February? Yeah. When is it? Is it in January that they have the national? Which one? The, uh, the AFC. AFC. No college football. When is the national? When is the national? That'll football? be January. That'll be January. Uh, is that in the middle of January or the middle of January? I think okay. it's going to be on the. Um, well, there's going to be a Monday night playoff game this year, so right. I think it have to be. Um, give me a second here. Saturday is it? Either have to be the tenth. Or the twenty fourth, because there's no way they'll do on the same night as a playoff game in the in the NFL. Uh-uh. Let me see when that's going to happen. Where's it not announced yet? Okay, yeah, college football playoff. Excuse me. Um, it says January eleventh of twenty twenty one. 
So I don't know if that has any. Well, that was this year. That right, was sure. Tuesday. Yeah, that's this year. That was this year anyway. That's not next year. Okay, okay, okay. So like I said, I don't think the. Let's see, this will be the 2022 national title game. I don't. I think you're right. I don't. No, they have a Monday, January 10th. Is when it's scheduled. okay. Okay, the week before the playoff Monday night playoff game. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. It's in Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. So that's where it's located this year. I was just curious with you know with the extra playoff game, yeah, if that was going to interfere. Because again, if you are the NCAA, you definitely don't want your biggest game being no. interfered with by the pro league. I sure would I sure wouldn't want that. I mean, that's just me. I wouldn't, that's what it is. I wouldn't want um no, I wouldn't want that at all. Um, while he's in the restroom, we could talk soccer real quick. Okay. Lewis, I have I got an uh the women's league. Um they yes. agreed uh to eight. They agreed, I guess they had eight demands for the league, and I guess okay. the league agreed on the eight. Um yes. this is an article. Let me see. This is from CBS Sports. Um, so here are the eight demands, or I guess the demands. Um, it says one, every coach, general manager, representative of a board of governors and owners submit to a player association independent investigation into abuse conduct. Okay, that makes sense after what's going on in that league. Um, let's see. Um, they will have a step back protocol whereby any person in a position of power um, at the time that the club either hired, uh, hired or separated from employment will be under investigation for abuse. So this all really has to stem around what's been going on with uh, the abuse in the league there. So this all has to do with that. But I, I'm glad the league in general, because again, they are, again, nothing against women's soccer, but it's not as popular as, the MLS. I mean, I, I you when know, the men's or the men's international team, right? Because I know, uh, what is it this week? Isn't it like, isn't Mexico play the United States tomorrow, tomorrow. in the Kona Calf Cup or a Kona Cup Cup or whatever the heck it's called? If I'm pronouncing yeah. that correctly, um, uh, the World Cup qualifying, so yeah, it's a World Cup qualifier. So I'm glad the NWSL is actually listening to their players. And hopefully they can get back to where they were prior to all these. Reminds me. Go ahead. I forgot to take care of one little note because for those with special interests like myself, you guys were spending more time. Because I always put notes in for um the um, the day's events uh, a day ahead, and mm-hmm. I forgot. But since since like ninety eight percent of America doesn't really give a cat's ass, but I do, so I'm putting it in. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, have I saw it this morning on ESPN when I got up this morning. So I uh, happened to notice that they were that they announced it uh, on Get Up this morning that the United States is playing Mexico. You mean get bent? Wildfire. <laughs> so yeah, so they are there in a World Cup qualifier. Uh, but again, I'm glad that the NWSL is is um, listening to their players. And hopefully yeah. the league can get some popularity going. I know there's a lot of female, you know, soccer players and or fans that love to hear that their league is going to be okay uh, and stuff like that. I don't see them going away anytime soon, guys. Trust me, I'm not saying that the league is going to disappear. I just Good. think it's going to be a little bit harder now. They're going to have to dig their way out of the hole that they – obviously the idiots that were, you know, found with the abuse – did to their league, so they're going to have to somehow bounce back out of that. Um, so it'll it'll take a little time, but I think they'll be back to where they were prior to all of this, you know, going down all the abuse event events going down. Uh, so we'll see. Good. We'll have to see with uh, with uh, how how that goes. But I wanted to bring that up. I know that was the one thing. And, and the MLS starts their playoffs. What is it this week coming up or next tomorrow. week? Tomorrow. 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 So they yeah, start so tomorrow. Nice. Okay. Because I well, saw I that was, being today, too, that they – They have they have a very unusual season. You know, they only play 32 regular season games, but it's very sporadic, Okay, as, you, as most people know. I mean, it's not like they play, you know, like, you know, sometimes it takes like 10 days in between games to play another match. And they only play that, but they go so sporadic, and they're 
playoffs start very, very late, like in November, and they end it like just about two weeks before Christmas. Oh, they wow. Play- yeah. It is. And they started in late February for the new season. Well, I know, I know last year they yeah. were during the COVID thing, they were actually in the same complex as the NBA playing at Disney's Wild Water Sports different time. in the same – different time, correct. But they were playing on the same property yes. as the NBA was. So, they, of well, course, guys, I mean, the players never crossed each other because obviously that would never happen during a COVID year anyway. Well, don't forget, one plays outdoors, one plays indoors. indoors so. Correct. So what would they be out there for? Exactly. So it wouldn't, unless, it wouldn't clash. Unless, you know, you had an NBA guy that was interested in watching soccer. But then again, he still couldn't go out there anyway because – it was just the players and coaches. I don't think right. it was anybody else but those guys. And, of course I, and, it was. and the camera people, obviously, of that. Well, that. if you're under the, the bathroom, oh, okay. Ah. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. That's true. Yeah, well, I mean, that could happen, but, you know. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So the MLS starts their playoffs tomorrow. Um, Saturday. Saturday. Okay, so Saturday they start up. Okay, so. We could talk about that. Uh, we won't be on next week, but we could talk about that, Lewis. Uh, yeah. You know, the week of Thanksgiving, we can get an update of where they're at. You know, with uh, the playoffs at that time. But uh, it's a very strange process how they handle with the season, and then the playoffs. The playoffs used to be in October, um, pretty much. Um, yeah, and it was a lot. It was a lot shorter. In fact, the first year uh, they had a one-game playoff, and it ended. Uh, the same time, game two of the World Series. Uh, oh wow! Yeah. Well, here, here's what I'm wondering: what had higher ratings, the World Series or the or the championship game? I'm just curious. Yeah, the World Series, of course. Just curious. You see, that's another thing. Why would you want to go against MLB? I'm just saying. Why would you want to? Well, go that game was in the daytime. Oh, I got you. Okay, okay, got so you. So that's asked by made by NFL football anyway. Right. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget, it was the first. It was the first year of the league, and nobody takes anything seriously in the first year in, the, in a league anyway. Correct. I mean, when you figure it. So let's see. Okay, right. let's look at here. If you look under the microscope here, here's MLS. Oh, 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 point two. Okay, yeah, very right. minuscule right here. That magnifying glass, guys. I think we need to see this. I think we need to see the fine print. Yeah, there it is. That little micro, little microscope here with a ring for MLS way down at the bottom. More people are watching uh, grass, the Grass Growing Championship in London that day. Think, oh, my God. Pathetic. <laughs> They're watching – no, Senior Citizen Golf. That got a little bit better. That got by two points higher. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> They're watching whipping – we're going to try with canes instead of golf clubs. Oh. Right, right. <laughs> uh, I know. Shut up. No, you're fine. You're fine. No, I mean, it, you know, it's – it, 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 I, like I said, I, I did watch an MLS game when I was on vacation earlier in the year in May. I was watching it. I was watching the two um, Los Angeles teams. Okay, so, here's a question for you. Who was in the first championship game? Who was in the first championship game of MLS? Yes. Um, I'm going to say New York was one of the teams. Nope. No, incorrect. Okay. Right there, they're right there, right there pitiful. Uh, Los Angeles? Yep. LA in there? In Chicago? LA Galaxy, LA Galaxy, not LAFC, thank God. So was Chicago the Gal- Fire? Chicago? Nope, they weren't in they weren't in yet. New England? Nope. Nope. Okay. DC. Uh, DC. Ah. DC. Okay. DC and DC won in overtime. Hmm. That that was an East Coast West Coast showdown then with DC being on the East Coast and LA being on the West mm. Coast. There you go. Mm-hmm. East versus West. It was West playing, um, it was playing Los Angeles, but no, it was not. Uh, I think it was to be a neutral site, though. Neutral mm. site games. Or it was to the, whoever had the best record in the uh, of the year. I think LA had, but DC won in overtime, and that was a sudden death goal. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Are we first first an exciting thing? That's cool. In the first, that's year. cool. Yeah, that's. If I like it, sudden death overtime. End, that would be that's the way to end it, you know. I love sudden death overtime. Well, if it was, but if it if it went past the uh, forty five minutes or whatever it was, then they would go to the shootout after that. But they would have, but they would play a sudden death one period. If not, then they resort to penalty kicks. 
Got you. Got you. Okay. If you remember the World Cup of 94, how that went down. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was so distraught. We only lost. <laughs> um, if you guys want to, we can jump to Major League Baseball. Obviously, the season yeah. is over. Um, All right. The Braves won the World Series. So congratulations. Yes, they did. Um, the uh, MLB awards are going to be next Thursday. Oh, okay. Uh, well, actually, yeah. some of them have been given out. Yeah, this, thought... wasn't the Silver Slugger Awards ended Silver up. Silver Slugger and Golden Globe and Golden Gloves. I say Golden Globe. Yeah. Oh, shoot <laughs> I know they were. Yeah, they were handed out today, right? The Silver Slugger and the Golden yes. Gloves. Yes, Silver Slugger was. Uh, in fact, I think some are still being handed out as we speak. I think so. I think. I think yeah. so. But the Golden um, Gloves were announced on Tuesday. Yes, uh, it looks like this upcoming Monday, the fifteenth, will know Rookie of the Year. Uh, Manager of the Year is handed out Tuesday. The Cy Youngs are handed out Wednesday. And the MVP is handed out Thursday. And then mm. so here are the Rookie of the Years in the National League. You have Dylan Carlson of the Cardinals, Jonathan India of the Reds, and Trevor Rogers of the Marlins. Mm. And then for the American League, you have two Tampa Bay Rays, Randy Arozarena and Wander Franco. And the other one is Elise Garcia for the Houston Astros. Mm. Mm. Uh, manager of the year is in the National League is Craig Council of the Brewers, Gabe yes, right. Kapler of the Giants, and Mike Schmidt of the Cardinals. Surely Mike Kapler Kapler. gets it. Um, Schmidt, yeah. Schmidt got fired. Um, the manager of the year in the American League is Dusty Baker of the Astros, Kevin Cash of the Rays, and Scott Cerveris of the Mariners. So those are the three up for the three there. Um the Cy Youngs in the National League is Corbin Burns of the Brewers, Max Scherzer of the Dodgers, and Zach Wheeler of the Phillies. Yep. In the American Ooh, League, yeah. it's Garrett Cole of the Yankees, Lance Lynn of the White Sox, and Robbie Ray of the Blue Jays. Um, the MVP in the National League is Bryce Harper, Juan Soto, and Fernando Tatis Jr. Good choices. In, uh, the American League, it's Vlad Guerrero Jr., Jay Otani and Marcus Simeon. That's going to be a tough choice. Oof. Vlad Jr. Well, I would say Vlad Jr., but show, show me the money. Some votes too. Show me the yeah. money, Otani. Yeah. Um, it says why Rod Manfred's job isn't in danger as MLB heads towards a lockout and what it would take to change that. That's uninteresting. Why would his job not be in jeopardy if they do go? Uh, I don't know. Because get Gary Bettman still has a job? Exactly. Very true. <laughs> That's Although I don't see how. <laughs> no, because I know there's been a lot of dirt going on in the National Hockey League, so I don't know how yeah. Ben also has a job. Um, here are the 2022 World Series odds entering the entering next season. Here we go. Um, the Dodgers are the foregone favorite. Mm. Um, mm. It's Dodgers, Astros, Braves. Mm. Yankees, White Sox, Rays, Giants, Red Sox, Padres, mm. Brewers, Blue Jays, Mets, Cardinals, Phillies, A's, Guardians, or the Indians, Nationals, mm. Marlins, Rockies, Royals, Twins, Tigers, Cubs, Pirates, Rangers, Diamondbacks, and Baltimore, and the Orioles. Actually, the Diamondbacks and the Orioles so, have, the, have the same odds at Plus twenty thousand to win the World Series next year. And so, Detroit, if, Frank you have, Potter, wow. if you have some spare money laying, around, if you have some spare money laying around, and you want to throw a hundred dollars on that, and know, somehow, right? so miraculously, Arizona or Baltimore wins the World Series, you will make out with a lot of money. Just saying, like a hundred down, hundred down on a twenty thousand thing chance. Yeah. It's pretty good odds. You might 21. be walking away. Yep. So three words, three words in that one. Not gonna happen. <laughs> That's gonna kind of what it. I was thinking. I was thinking Thanks. you'd be better off just burning your money if you take that bet, man. That's, That's a big not, That's not a smart. Man. That's a sucker's bet, is what that is. Yeah, and you're the sucker. <laughs> the tiger's no, no. Already, uh, plus eight thousand for the tiger's. That's, uh, that uh, I put money on the tiger. They're, they're gonna. They're gonna play. They're gonna surprise a lot of people next year. You really think so, huh? Absolutely. Um, what they did in the second half and how they came back after the All Star break, yeah. yeah I was gonna say, 
I don't think they're as bad as a lot of people think they really are. Not as bad as they've been the last three years. Can I call Taylor Phillips on this? Uh, <laughs> he'll he'll um, die. Yeah. No, they're going to be a much improved baseball team, especially if they can sign Correa and Verlander Carlos comes Correa? back. And, I think it's Carlos Correa. It's whoever was whoever's a free agent in Arizona, or Houston. Yeah, Correa. Carlos I was just going to say that. Correa. I was just gonna say that I have, um, I have. Yeah, I don't yeah. Think I put up on my computer, it's, but it was the top fifty best free agents. Um, yeah. Major League Baseball. I don't Korea know. Is the top one? Um, is the top uh, top player uh, in that list of free agents uh, for this year? Again, it's all gonna come down to. Um, Obviously, if there's no lockout. Well, look, I yeah, I think they'll I think they'll improve, but I would think I would hold off on the vict on the uh, victory parade celebration though. <laughs> Put it that way. And like we like we've been saying, let's hope there's going to be a 22 uh, season. Yeah, I yeah. I think it will be. I think it will be a 22 season, but don't expect it to be in April. Spring training is going to be delayed, uh, almost a certainty. So they'll push back, of course, everything. Ooh. So I do think by June or July they'll get this done. There is no way they're gonna let a whole season go by this. The MLB would be pretty stupid to have that happen. Yeah, yeah. With the capital they're gonna lock them out. Well, yeah, I think that's a foregone conclusion. What happened last year with the whole COVID mm-hmm. argument? I don't think that there's any any way that anything's gonna get done. Well, you would think that would be resolved because you know after they lost with. Uh, with the COVID season, they would try to find a way to resolve this so they wouldn't have to go through it because that's what happened right. when they had nine eleven. You know, they gave right. more time in a year and the lack of was averted. So you thought maybe they would be able to come to a compromise after losing three uh, two quarters of the season in 2020. Yeah. But no, not this time. Actually, here, here are the Silver Slugger Awards. Uh, for catcher in the American League, it was Salvador Perez. This is Good. the fourth time he's won the title. Uh, the runners up were Gary Sanchez and Mike Zanino. Ooh, uh, wow. Vladdy Guerrero won his first Silver Slugger Award. Oh. The runners up were Yaro Guerrero of the Astros and Matt Olson of the Oakland A's. Mm-hmm. Um, that left fielder? I'm sure that's left field. I apologize. That's, it says first base. It says first base. I thought Vladdy played left field. Uh, like second dad. base is Marcus Simeon. It's his first. Uh, the runners-up were Jose Altuve, hmm. DJ LeMahieu, hmm. and Jorge Blanco of the Twins. Um, third base went to Rafael Devers. Um, the uh, runners-up there were Jose Ramirez of the Indians and Kyle Seeger of the Mariners. Uh, for shortstop, it was Xander Bogarts. Um, runners-up were Tim Anderson and Bo Bichette and Carlos Correa. So all those those guys all deserve that. Um, outfield, it was to Oscar Hernandez of the Blue Jays, Aaron Judge of the Yankees, Cedric Mullins of the Orioles. The runners-up were Randy Rosarena, Lores Garrell Jr., Mitch Haniger, Hunter Renfro, and Kyle Tucker. Uh, DH, Shao Otani, one for DH. Um, the uh, runners-up were Jordan, uh, Jordan Alvarez of the Astros, Nelson Cruz, Joey Gallo, and John Carlos Denton of the National mm-hmm. League Buster Posey, which I believe retired. Did yep. he got it. Yes, he retired. Retired. Yep, he just hung him up. Um, runners up would be Omar <laughs> Navarez, JT Ramuto, and Will Smith mm-hmm. are the runners up. Mm-hmm. Uh, first base, Freddie Freeman. That's not a shacker. Um, yeah, that's a foregone conclusion. Can't take him away. Take away. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, Max Muncy, and Joey Votto were the runners up for there. Um, mm. Second base was Ozzy Abez of the Braves. Um, see, the runners up were Jake Conworth, Jonathan India, and Justin Turner. Third base, yeah, Austin yeah. Riley. So, another Brave yeah. wins the Silver Slayer. Runners Damn. up were Nolan Ardenano, Manny Machado, and Patrick Wisdom. Oh. Okay. At shortstop, you had Fernando Tatis. Runners up were yeah. Will Adamas, Brandon Crawford, and Trey Turner. The outfield were as follows. Nick Cassianos, Bryce Harper, Juan Soto. The runners up there were Adam Duvall, Tyler O'Neill, Brian Reynolds, and Jesse Winkler. 
for pitcher Max Fried, another Brave. That's four Silver Slugger awards for the World Series champions. Yeah, Thanks, up, man. Uh, were Madison Bumgarner, Jacob DeGrom, and Herman Marquez. So those are the Silver Sluggers for the league in 2021. Those are the Silver Slugger awards handed out to all those positions. So That's incredible. Oh, no. We'll know more, of course, about that later on. Yeah, I don't know. Two on there too, I think. I'm sorry. I think the Carlos uh, did some damage in that in the. Uh, they had a couple in the runner-up there for sure. Yeah, Nolan Arenado and Mike I Schmidt. Think, I think the Cardinals lose. I think they dominated the Golden Glove. I think they Golden had five Glove, Golden yeah. Glove winners. So the Braves I'm dominated thinking. Silver Slugger, and the Cardinals did the Golden Gloves. Hmm. Go figure. It should be Got that one in the National League. I mean, that should well, be. Well, that'll be on my show Saturday, yeah. so you might want to listen in. Yeah, that, that's it. Should be that way in the National. Oh, League. just out of reach. That was six. Oh, the that that was uh, Sammy Watkins, right? Yeah, he came up limp. Why didn't he go? He didn't run the route. That was weird. He didn't run the route. Why she comes up gimpy? Why he comes up gimpy right here? Uh oh. That's not good. good. Lumping off. That's not good for the. Uh, when I need this though. Uh, yeah, if he came up limping, that's definitely not yeah. good for. Yeah. Oh, it's just a crap. Speaking of that, we can since you were watching the. Uh, I had the wings game a little wings better ago. And Capitals. Anything else, guys? Catch your attention with uh, NHL with so the far M- this year? Oh, the H- NHL. Um. <laughs> Gotta just love hockey. You guys. Well, I love hockey. Well, I love hockey. Up. Yeah, he is. He just went into fourth. That's right. That's uh, Brett Hall, right? Yes. Ov did Ov Ov moved up to fourth all time. Yeah. Uh, he could have He could went to third, but you know he yeah. um yeah hasn't got there yet. So he first. Well, uh, do you do you see him passing Gretzky? No. 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 Not anymore. No, maybe, but not Gretzky. I'll get, was he Yager third? No. Um, Yager. Um, I think it's Gordy Yager. Next up is Brett Holt. It's, he tied Yager. Oh, it. under, now he gets on to Brett Holt. Okay. So they'll do that for sure. I I think we'll just see think... past Gordy Howe. Yeah. But it's gonna, but get, yeah. It, get it. Because he's still, yeah. Well, he's so. All right, so Gordy Howe, Gordy Howe is second, right? In all in yeah. goals all time, right? Yeah, with 902 or 802? 801. 801, yep. Yager is third mm-hmm. with yeah. se- 766. 760. Right. And Ovechkin is tied for fourth with Brett Hall at 741. 741. Mm-hmm. So he has to score so, 25 goals more this year to go into third. Yeah, just to tie with Doable. Yager. Well, he so he is almost he is almost he is one hundred and fifty. He's one hundred and fifty-three to tie away from. from well, he'd be one fifty-three from tying one fifty-four for all time. Yep. So he yeah. have to. That's a lot of goals. To, and he is what? How old is is, is Ovi? He's in his late thirties. Thirty-six. Yeah. Ooh, he'd have to play at least till he's. 41 or 42 to have any yeah, shot. If he can hold out that long, he'll have a chance, but I don't know if he's going to hold out that long. Well, here's the thing. Do he has, or, does, does he have any major injuries that he's had? Not or? really. couple, no. but yeah. he's – Nothing missed, major with that? Nothing super serious, no. Yeah. Um, mm. And um, other than the two major lockout, well, the, the total – the total loss of the oh no he wasn't playing yet was he? No, was he, he wasn't in the league playing in two thousand five when the lockout happened. No, I don't think he. No, I don't okay. think so. I didn't think he. I don't think he broke it until like oh six or oh seven. Uh, let me look real quick. Do, 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 do. Nah, he was he was he was drafted in 04, so he did. Yeah, he did lose the 0405 season. Yeah, okay. That might be a that might be a factor. So that was so that was supposed to be his rookie season when the year when the, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. When they locked that could up. be a, that could be a factor uh, in it. 
Well, yeah, he lost the whole season. He lost 80 games. Yeah, 82. 82. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe – now, guys, with that, I mean, again, I, maybe this is a dumb question to ask. Is this all-time goals or is this just regular season goals? It's regular all-time. season, yeah. Regular season, regular season goals. Yeah. So this isn't this is count playoffs. It doesn't count playoffs. No, no, no. no. Okay. Playoffs are a totally different animal. Okay. So they're playoffs? So- really? Playoffs? Uh-oh. Playoffs. That's- playoffs. I yeah, think you know what I'm going with that, right? It looks like Gretzky admits 2,857 total points. You know, yeah. never, nobody's ever going to catch Gretzky. No. For points. Yeah, he had 894 goals, yeah. 1,963 assists. Yeah. For the 2000, and he had 577 penalty minutes. And of course, Gordy Howe was arguing with, oh, wait, he didn't bring my record. Because he was, because he was um, mentioning his goals when he was in the, uh, in the American, in the, um, well, there was another league that the challenged WHL. the NHL uh, right. back in the back in the, city, the WHA. Gretzky's first season was in the WHL. That's right. The WHA. So Gretzky, so how was bitching like how? Oh, you break my record. What about what the goal to score in the WHA? But uh, some, you know, some might argue that, you know, depending on how you look at it. We'll put it this way: Gretzky has more NHL goals than anybody else. We'll put it that way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If How was still alive, I think he's still bitching about it. <laughs> well, actually, now the funny thing is the only American that's in the top five is Brett Hall. Now you have two really Canadians, so. a Czech, and a Russian are the top four. It's really so, especially after winning the uh, Stanley Cup in 99. Yeah, the infamous uh, in the uh, crease goal. Yeah. Yes, the goal, the game I thought that would never end. <laughs> no goal. No goal. Hey, you uh, have that goal should have never counted. Yeah, you have get lost. Okay, I'm tired. I haven't had I haven't had love with my wife in three days. Come on, I gotta go home. Yo, yeah, there, there, there's only one American in the top 25 in goals overall. Wow. Mike Madonna's 26. Mm. So there's not a lot of um wow, not a lot of Americans as far as no, I'm not saying that's well, a bad thing, but I mean it's just that it's not surprising. I mean, when yeah. you consider that you know. That it's not really, you know, an American sport, so to speak. You know, that's more Canadian, right. Russian, Scandinavian. Yeah. Pluto. Timo oh Timo Solani's the only Finn in the top twenty-five. Solani. Huh? I'm sorry, no, I apologize. There's two, two Finns in the top twenty-five. Who do you think the other Finn is in the top twenty-five? Solani's at twelve. Solani. Think of who else is the other Finn at in the top twenty-five? In uh, goals, all time goals. I'm mm. not sure. I was just literally looking at this like 30 seconds ago. Yari uh, Curry. Yari, Yari, uh, Yari. Uh, Yari. I always fin. forget Curry was a Finn. Yeah. And then the only uh, Swede, who's the only Swede in the top 25? Me. Forsberg. Negative. Forsberg? Forsberg is a Canadian. No, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm joking. No. The only Swede in the top 25. Uh, Nick Lidstrom. Negative. Nope. Might not be him. Solo? Incorrect. Matt oh. Sundin is the only Oh, Sundin. Yes. Oh, I thought he was Canadian. No, no, no. no. Uh, I no, nah, he's now nah, he's 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 a sweet. Uh, uh yeah. Like I said, the only the only Americans that are in the top fifty in goals is Joe Mullen at forty four, Jeremy mm-hmm. Roenick at 40, Ooh. Keith Kachuk at 33, Mike Madonna at 26, and then, of course, Brett Hall. Kachuk is a son now. They're playing in the league, too. Yeah. So, those are all, I mean, you, of course, he you has got a brother, all. though, doesn't he? Who's yeah, that? They, yeah. Yeah, so he has a the brother. Kachuk, the, Ch- yeah. the Kachuk brothers are both in the league now. What is it? They're both right. just as worse as they're, they're both just as useless as their father. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And they don't forget about it. who else uses too. I mean, you know, uh, D- uh, Domi, his son, though, please. <laughs> Just like his <laughs> father. Uh, I, I never liked, I was like, I like, um, I like Ty Domi a whole hell of a lot more than I ever liked Keith Cassell. <laughs> Domi was an idiot. Yeah, there's a. I mean, again, a lot of the names on the on the goal list. We we you know yeah. who they are. I mean, they're all popular players. Not yeah. anybody that. Well, I don't you saw the league like we do. You know, 
But yeah, there's not anyone yeah. on here. There's not anyone on here that I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm looking at the names right Bond, now. Yeah. If you don't know, I mean, again, if, yeah, if you don't follow the league, you wouldn't know who these guys are. Right, I mean, because I've been following since like about eight. Yeah, I mean, like I said, a lot of them are. It's Dan Makita. Yeah. Dan Makita. It's a great Wayne, name. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. It's Dan Makita Donuts. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, Dino. Ah, uh, there he is. I was wondering where he was, Bobby Hall. Bobby Hall was Canadian, huh? Yes. This kid is an American. Interesting. Well, I think um, I think he has dual citizenship, though. God, what's that? That happens to me all the time too. I'll go to a page and then I get a damn ad that kicks. You get that too? I thought I was the only one. I was like, "What was that racket?" And by, and by the way, anybody out there from USAA, you want to sponsor us? I'm more than welcome. To yeah, give me a call. <laughs> yeah. My number is listed. I'm more than welcome to list. Even though I have, I don't have any military experience. You can give me a call. No, I, I have. My grandpa was in the, was well, the army. They, like, turned, they turned down Brock Hospital. Turned on us too. Yeah. I, know, I, was, I wouldn't turn down the sponsorship, but I was a Marine in World War II. My grandfather was a Marine in World War II. So yeah, yeah my grandfather didn't serve. My great grandfather served in the war, but my grandpa was born in '36. It's a okay. little bit young for World War II. My grandpa right. was 22, so there you go. So yeah. 22, yep. Right. Um, yeah. My great grandfather was born in 25. Gotcha. Okay. On my mother's side. Right. Of course. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I didn't know this until recently. I guess my grandfather, when he enlisted in the Marine Corps, you have to be 18. He had a fake yep. ID. He was only 17 when he enlisted. Ha uh-huh. ha. Yeah. He's not. He was not. Because back not in the, the only. Back in Not those days, I don't, I don't think they were checking IDs. <laughs> they were just going to sign up. When you're, when good. You're, good. you're good. Go. You're good. When did he? Do you know when he exa- exactly did he enlist in 42? Well, let's see. He was born in 22, so 17. That would be 30. 39. 39. So just before, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah by, by 39, they really weren't. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I don't think they Looks were. Looks like uh, well, I mean, I think I think if you passed yeah. if you passed all the health tests, you were in. I mean, pretty much. I didn't really did say these back then, though. I thought it was like, um, like Captain Steve Rogers, for example. There you go. So, right. So, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely, and definitely by 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 thirty nine. I don't think too many people would have questioned it. No. Especially depending on when exactly his birthday was and how good his fake i fake ID was. October seventeenth. Yeah. Was his birthday? He's four days after my 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 late mom, who was on the thirteenth. Mm. But yeah, uh, okay. yep. Was I that, got was that her dad? Her dad, correct. Her that was dad. my my both both grandparents on my mom's side are gone. Um, yeah. My grandfather, mm-hmm. Pat, it, yeah, it was yeah. eighteen years, eighteen years, I think, or thirteen years, I think. Last Monday, this past Monday, mm. gone. Um, my grandmother passed away in two thousand fourteen. On that mm. side of the family, my other grandma on my dad's side passed away in 04 from cancer. Mm. Uh, but my grandfather is still kicking at 85 years old on my dad's nice. side. Good for him. Still kicking, gets goes out to dinner every day of the week, plays cards every almost every day of the week. So staying healthy, staying active. So he I, I right. good? give him. He, yeah, he's good health wise. Yeah, he's good health wise. We have the card game. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what card game they play. Bridge, poker. I don't know what the heck. Okay, all right. Nasta. I want to draw the question. Okay, okay. I know. I know. Every once in a while, they play dominoes. He taught me how to play dominoes when I was younger. So. Dominoes is actually a lot of fun. I like so playing dominoes. Yeah. Play dominoes. Yeah. Yeah. I actually Not, have a ivory double. Was it double nine? Yeah, double nine set. Cool. Set of double nine dominoes. Yeah. So. We we play play I like playing dominoes. It's fun. Yeah, I, I I agree. I think dominoes. Not to totally get sidetracked. Right. No, we can talk about dominoes. It's actually yeah, it's, So there you go. It's fine. Right. It's uh, competitive. Some uh, <laughs> in sport. It, I, I'm going to jump, guys, real quick before we get into the NCAA and the uh, – got 15 uh, minutes before we get to the – get to the. Uh, if you want, you want to talk about the association? I mean, I know the NBA. Sure, we can – I yeah, I had another thing that I really wanted, I wanted to ask you guys about. I didn't know if you had seen it. So let's, yeah. let's run through the basketball real quick because what Lou had before. The, I, know, game. I know the Warriors are off to a good start. Yep. I thought so. I knew it was going to happen. 
Yeah, I knew they were going to be good too. I had. Yeah. Especially if Steph can stay healthy. Yeah, you're gonna gonna be fine. Back. You're going to get Clay back. Get Clay back. back. Not get back yet. <laughs> For the start at Christmas, from That's... what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, is that have I heard that right? Have you heard that too, Lou? Yes, yes, I have. They're, yes. They're, they're targeting his return like, for Christmas. Who who are the what what are the Christmas Day games this year? I know Christmas they Day games, quite a, there's uh, quite a few of them. Four games, I think. Five. Is it five? five games on Christmas. Okay. Five. Starting well, yeah, at noon, then ending at ten thirty. What three yeah, three games on CBS on, on ABC and two on TNT? Yes. CBS, ABC, ESPN. I think one is on TNT. Right. That yeah. So yeah. Three me, on. Three on. That, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I got. I have an idea because I know a site where I I can get an instant. Sometimes it's best to. Get, I know a site where you have they have the schedule all posted up. Uh, SportsMediaWatch.com is my official source okay. for this. Cool. Good I know you guys never heard of it, but uh, I, I found it. Now, now this just lists games. It doesn't give you, um, you know, streaming games. Uh, or something. It's just a TV schedule, like. Okay. So, like TV game. Like. Yeah. So I'll read it off to you. NBA schedule, but unfortunately, they don't really carry a hockey schedule on this page. You good for nothing, mm. dirty, no good sob. You know. <laughs> oh, they do have it. I'm sorry. They don't have the college basketball schedule yet. Jerk. That started up too. College oh, basketball. Oh, God. Schedule. That game last night. That yeah, was but they don't scary. Post it on here. Okay. You guys ready? Go ahead. Okay. So we'll go to the Christmas schedule. Actually, ABC yeah, is yeah. a game before Christmas on December 11th, just in case you want to know. Okay. That's, that's next to my last show of the year. Hmm. You'll figure that out. Right. Uh, if anybody wants to thank, uh, no, if there is no thanks to me this year, you dirty dog. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. No, that's the NFL. That's the NFL. They're not, they're not going to try and compete no, with no, the but NFL. Sometimes they, sometimes they do do Thanksgiving games, but this year, no. So anyway, uh, there is an uh, ABC game on the 11th, the Warriors and the Sixers. Hint, Ooh, hint, maybe, maybe. Okay. Should be Should good be. For your Christmas games. Okay, depending on your time zone, uh, for either breakfast or uh, early lunch, the Hawks versus the Knicks on ABC. That should be a good game. For your appetizer, for your appetizer on the East Coast, the Celtics versus the Yucks. You call them the Bucks. <laughs> Dinner, Warriors versus Suns. Dessert, one. dessert, Nets and Lakers. Okay. And for your midnight snack, Mavericks Jazz. Ah, that's Ooh. the West Coast game. Okay, so so the they're playing in Utah. They're in Utah. Oh, that's a great that's a great lineup of. of I was gonna say all five of those games would be good. Yeah, man. If yeah. you want New Year's Eve, yeah. I got some for you too. If you want New Year's Eve, I got some for you. Go ahead. Although no ABC games, and the rest are usually all for the league pass. There's one uh, nationally televised game: the Blazers versus the Lakers at ten thirty. Other games. Sun Celtics at one, Bulls Pages at three, Mavericks Kings at six, Heat Rockets at seven, seven thirty are the Hawks and Clippers, uh, Hawks and Cavaliers rather, Clippers Raptors, eight o'clock are the Spurs and the Grizzly Bears, the Knicks and the Blunder, I mean the Thunder and the Wolves versus the Jazz. So if you don't have plans that night for New Year's Eve, good games to watch. You can stream it, or if you've got any big pass, you can do it from there. I know I'll stream mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Suckers. Mm. I have a streaming I, app on my phone, so I can watch the NBA games too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but streaming on your phone, the picture's like a little bit, yeah, you know. It depends. On, it, depends it depends on how you. I watch so much on my phone. I, I watch so much YouTube on my phone. It just doesn't phase me anymore. I'm not even. I, uh, not, I, I, I my the picture quality on my phone. My I can hold my phone up to my face like this, and the picture yeah. quality is just as good on my phone as it is on my TV. So it me I guess I yeah. average anywhere from four and a half to five hour uh, a day watching YouTube. Just to you know, say that. Out. Oh, I'm I'm like I I I, I average four or five hours an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a new one. Uh, four or five hours an hour. Yeah, pretty much. I have hours a minute. people that I watch. So yeah. I, I I hit the watch later thing a lot on a lot of videos. Yeah. So. Well, and I just I, I I I gotta oh, actually I have them on me. 
But the Warriors, uh, you know, look to be in good shape after. Yeah, they look to be in great out. shape. I have so, a pair of in-ear Bluetooth headphone uh, earphones. Oh, nice. oh yeah, Bluetooth, so right. Put one of them in, put one in, put my earmuffs on, and go to work. And so I'm on YouTube for 10, 12, 15 hours a day, and then I come home and I put turn my TV on, find a game or whatever to watch, and watch YouTube. And I do it on here or on here. If we're not if we're not on the stream, then I'm on my phone watching what whatever. You, uh, what do you watch? But what's the what's the top stuff that you watch? Uh, uh, basketball, so football. If I can get hockey. See, the thing is, this year, um, ESPN Plus, which is I think it, which is, is ridiculous. Uh, you know, For seven bucks, I get to watch my wings pretty much every single game. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, well, the thing is this. Well, I paid, know. Last year, last year I paid for two months. I paid for or three months, give or take. I paid for the NHL. Um, dot tv and that right. was 25 dollars a month for huh. espn plus i pay pay eight dollars is that seven dollars a month it's like six ninety it's like six ninety five well the and, thing is this though the thing is if espn plus you see tuesday nights is their night alone so if there's a game on you know if there if there are other teams playing with the devils um and espn plus gets that you can't get on your can't get on tv at all you can't right so, right so I go over to um, one of my other streaming sites, which does carry the ESPN Plus uh, uh, signal right. to get off that. So I don't have right. to use ESPN Plus. I can just get off, you know, um, one of the, one of right, the streaming right, right. services on that. And it cost me, get this, nothing. Absolutely I've nothing. Used, I've used this uh, 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 streaming site. But the thing is, they don't have college year. basketball <laughs> games yet. Right. I just, but I pay for, I pay so much money for all this stupid shit. If yeah. I could get, if I could pay for just to have my sports, I turn cable off. Wouldn't right. need it, but I can't get national televised games unless you want to use a, a one of those more, um, let's say Napster like sites. Um, Napster. Mm. I'm showing my age here. Maybe LimeWire. How about uh, Netscape? Oh. oh, God. You got one of those old AOL. You got AOL. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got one of those old AOL. I do. You put the, put the AOL uh, to get on the internet. You put the AOL disc in. <laughs> you, uh, I, do, I do use AOL, AOL but not for, not for a disc. I do use AOL for for uh, news headlines and stuff. Uh-uh. Dial up. Remember the old dial up? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. The, oh, 256. You know, you get off the phone because mom need you get off the internet because mom need to make a phone call. Yep. Yeah. That you know, horrible right. sound you make. Mm-hmm. Yep. Crash. Yep. Yeah. Crash. Yep. If anybody picked up the phone or a phone call came in? Yep, you're screwed. You're not you kicked you off the internet. <laughs> you off the internet. Yep. For yeah. those of you under the age of twenty one, this is how we used to I, use the internet. I know, people. right? <laughs> I remember. I remember the first time we had a computer it was in ninety five, ninety six. Yep. My brother wasn't even born yet. It's like 95, 96. <laughs> and we had gotten um, a uh, Dell. It's an old school, great big. You got a Dell. Right with a, yeah. With a Windows 95 on it. Yeah. Well, just to be on, just to be on record, I think the um, first official use of the uh, internet was, I think, in 1987 or 88, because when they first used Prodigy, for those of you who are children, remember that was the first internet service. Then came mm. AOL and all the right. rest. Prodigy is now a bust, but AOL still yeah. exists. No figure. Prodigy got bought out, I think, by Apple a long time. No ago. wonder. Yeah. Didn't AOL that. get bought out by Time Warner at one uh, yeah. later on? Yeah, but AOL yeah. still exists with a website. I was gonna right. say, but they, AOL, don't, they don't offer AOL email address, right? Yeah, yeah, but they don't offer um, internet service. Anymore. Internet service anymore? If I'm not no, mistaken. no, no. no. Because I remember, I remember in the '90s, at the end of the '90s, when AOL was king shit, man, and they had 30 million users, and that was their their claim to fame was 30 million users. Yeah, man, takes me back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why? Right. Why? <laughs> Moving on. Why, um, before we switch to NCAA football, what would you want? Did you want to? Okay. okay. So, um, I had seen a. I had seen a a rumor. I guess we use that word. It's a good word for it. Yeah. That yeah. um, Jake Paul's uh, his last fight, uh, mm-hmm. 
he was part of the contract stipulations was that he couldn't be knocked out. Um, I haven't seen anything official. It's all been rumor and speculation by some people on Twitter. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. But, um, oh, wow. Um, I just can't imagine signing a professional fighting contract. No, you couldn't knock your opponent out. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't take the, you know, what's the point? Yeah, because you, you'd have to, it would have to be, it'd have, have to go both ways. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It'd have to be, it would, I wouldn't, by, that's the only way you can win is by decision or just fall. Right. Right. However, you want to throw it out there. But why would you, why would you want to win by DQ? Because a lot of times when you win by disqualification, they don't count that as a yeah, win. It's you just not really like legal to get the win, you know? Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's if that is true, that's, that's strange. strange. That's very peculiar. And again, why? Again, if if somebody knew that, again, but you just you read of that on Twitter. If somebody knew that, why is it coming out now? Now that it's been right, how so many long. months ago since he yeah beat Tyron Woodley? Why would you now all of a sudden bring that up? Unless Woodley brought it back up. I mean, I don't know, but wouldn't you think that Woodley would have said something when he signed the contract? I mean, unless he was told not to, maybe he was paid extra. I don't know. Maybe there's extra money involved. I don't. I have no. I don't know. Let me look at it real quick, real quick before we move on. Um, oh, I can see it myself. Yeah, it wasn't. So this is this is from three days ago. This is Jake Paul going on the record. Let me see if I can find a quote here. Um, huh. So Dylan, Dennis, mm-hmm. Danis. Let me look at this person here. Find out um, who they are. So, so Dylan Danis is a UFC fighter who is, uh, he, uh that's in, that's in not English, so I can't read that. Okay, so this is what it is. Jake Paul hits back a claim from Dylan Danis that he had a no knockout clause in the contract for his fight against Tyron Woodley. Claiming the USC fighter is bringing it up for cloud. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Uh, speaking, speaking following the press, the launch press conference for his fight with Tommy Fury, Jake Plastic claims about the no KO clause. Taking shots at longtime social media rival, rival, and quote. Look, it's a bunch of losers trying to make shit up to get headlines. The social media, uh, end quote. The social media star claimed that Danis and others had done it for the clout of being motiv- of being mentioned, having no not having a no knockout contract. Holy Christ! If I could just read the words on the page, it would help. Having a no knockout clause. In a contract, I never heard of that. It's highly legal. I think it would, I think it, I would be in jail. He continued, "That's like rigging a fight. I would be in prison if that was a real thing. It's all nonsense. It's bullshit." And they exact, and they got exactly what they wanted it, which is for what they wanted out of it, which is for people to mention their name. And that was another quote. Close quote. Yeah, that sounds uh, kind of fishy to me that somebody would bring that up. Somebody dug that up. Right. Again, um, this is a member um, looking for a headline. As Jake, and then this is uh, this is what the writer of this article is saying. As Jake notes, the no knockout clause is not a thing in professional bouts, though it has been used in exhibition before. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr., which Jake Paul was on the undercard for, had a stipulation where the fight was to be stopped if either fighter suffered a nasty cut, though that never happened. Uh, and that's, yeah, I'm not reading the ads for them. <laughs> um, yeah. So right. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring your guy, I wanted to get your guys thoughts on that. Um, would you, I wouldn't even entertain that a contract. No. I wouldn't. If I was a professional fighter looking to no. make, you know, to gain traction in the, in the fight game, I wouldn't even bother entertaining that contract. That's, that's a loser contract Throw it. right there. Throw it. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, yeah, that would be, yeah, 
Uh, there's no way I would sign a contract that I couldn't knock him out because again, he's not. I don't. I don't think he's. Has he ever maybe been, been knocked down? I don't think he's ever I've, been. Knocked I think down. he's been knocked down once. Once. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think he got knocked down once in the Tyrone Woodley fight. Um, okay. And you know, I think it was we talked about before on this show, is that you know he can't. He, nobody takes him seriously, so he can't get any serious fights. So he takes the fights he can get, which aren't serious. Right. And then nobody takes him seriously because he can't because he won't because he can't get a serious fight, so he takes the fights that he can get. So no one takes him seriously, so he takes the fights he can get. I mean, in the way the in the way that boxing is done now, you don't fight once a month anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, it's once every three, four, five months, because yeah. of the way that, you know, what we know about concussions and concussion syndrome and. CTE and getting hit in the head and how bad that is for you. Concussion after concussion. Mm-hmm. And the fact that and the fact that your most of your concussions don't come in a fight. They come before the fight. Most of your most of your before. the damage you you receive you you receive before the fight. How do you receive before the fight? Sparring. Oh, of course. Oh, because yeah. you spar you you spend right, right. You spend five days, six days a week in the gym sparring, and you get hit every single day. You know, if you fight a 15-round, if you it. fight three, five round, three, five, five-minute rounds three times a day, that's, you know, it's a, it's a brutal amount of... It takes a brutal amount of punishment, especially if you're taking serious... If you're, if you're doing serious training and you're taking... And you're you're not holding anything back because that's when I was training was was the 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 rule in sparring was you hit as hard as you want to be hit. So if you didn't want to get right. hit, if you didn't want to get dapped up, you know you pull your punches. You wouldn't throw it with everything. You know you you throw, but you wouldn't you wouldn't lay into a guy. You know you know bam. You you're working on stuff and you're bam bam bam. But you're not you're not going in there trying to knock somebody out. You just you're. But then as you get close, the closer and closer and closer you get to a fight, and the more professional you are, the more likely you are to throw harder shots and to and receive harder shots. So, if you wanted to go one hundred percent, it was up to the other guy to throw one hundred percent. So if you threw if you threw everything you had at a guy, he was more than it was more than fair for him to throw one hundred percent back at you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And so because didn't didn't that happen? But in the Rumble in the Jungle, didn't George Roman get cut during a sparring session? I believe so. Yeah. Before sounds right. I I think he actually threatened to leave the jungle because he didn't like it there. He was going to leave and not have the fight at all, and they convinced him to stay. Right, and that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. I couldn't I couldn't speak to that. Ooh, Obi with a turnover. Um. But no, and that's kind of my my thoughts on it was why would you even entertain it? Yeah, I mean, and like like and like Jake said, you know, I don't know if it's illegal, but it, it does. It sounds like fight fixing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because like, especially if if you're taking if if the if the other if you can if you can knock the other the other guy out. Yeah. But they can't knock you out. That's that's cheap. Well, see, then, then, like you were just saying, but too, that he he takes the fights that, you know, he takes whoever he can get. Now you wonder if, if that okay. So let's just say that's true. Let's say that he is taking right. where you can't knock him out. But then you know why did Tyron? Exactly. Why are why isn't it Tyron Woodley saying this and not some random dude true. from MMZ, no. MMA that nobody's ever heard of? True. I I, I, I would I would digging up an artist trying to get a headline. Yeah, I, I I I would agree with I would have to be I would I you know I'm not I'm a, I'm a Jake Paul fight fan I'm not a fan of Jake Paul the person I think he's kind of a douchebag um, I think that's a pretty universal I'm, I'm not saying anything controversial here but um but I like him as a fighter I think he's a very talented fighter and I think he's a, he's a promising young prospect and if he could get a couple of halfway decent fights really see what he can do yeah. Um, I'm excited for his next fight against um, uh, Tommy Fury here. Yeah, you know, I, I I would I would love to see him fight an actual. You know, a so so this next fight is 
is a serious fight. This is uh, what's his name? His Fury's brother, or uh, I don't think there are any room. Maybe they are relations. Half brother. Is he half brother? Half brother. Half brother. He's uh, twenty-two. He has seven wins. Four with knockout. Hmm. He is, yeah, half, you're right, half brother. Half brother. 10. Talk about a jobber. Uh, this is the, the Wikipedia article that just because I wanted to read up on him. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Javengus Andreveus? If I'm saying that right, was his Fury made his professional debut against the guy with and hit the the other guy's record, 10, 102, and three. One oh two, wow, Holy and crap. three, three three no it was it three draws? Yeah, three three no decisions. Yeah, three draws. Wow. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Talk about a jobber. Shit. Yeah. It's a hundred what hundred and fifteen fights. Yeah. <sighs> out of hundred and fifteen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. Wow. Talk about a jobber. Yeah. That could be that could be like, hey, we're just oh, you need to fight. Okay, let's get this guy. This guy will yeah, just paid go. To get, paid to, to pay and get paid to uh paid to lose to a guy a, a prospect, man. Yeah. It's a rough way to make a living. Yeah. You get beat up in the process. Yeah. Right. Um yeah, that's all I got on that. That's basically okay. what I just Cool. I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts and, and, and feelings on that. Something that I meant to, I was going to bring it up last week, but we just never, never, I never found a spot to get it in. So, no big deal. Got it in this week. And so, I'm good with well, that. Well, again, it, guys, if, if you didn't miss last week's show, again, I want to thank Great Mike. Show. Mike's watching the show or not, but thanks, Mike, for coming on and, yes. yeah. uh, and again, helping me out. He's incredibly uh, entertaining. With the muscle. Uh, <laughs> The muscle doctor, the muscle specialist that I went and saw. Um, well, let's go ahead, guys. NCAA, obviously, um, was I mean, the only thing that I could think of as far as uh, scores that stand out, obviously, uh, Florida got hammered by South Carolina. There's been some firings mm. in Gainesville. Uh, yeah. So that is. I be expected. I, this, I would say, going into this year, I thought. Uh, um, Florida was. I was expecting Florida to be down this year. Yeah. yeah. This far down? No. No. This is a surprise to me. I think you're I mean, right. Yeah. I, they, I uh, think if I, I would, uh, as a Gators fan, I, I'm going to ask you. And I think um, if I was a Gators fan, I'd be incredibly disappointed in this season. So would I. Well, I, I watched a YouTube video earlier today, and the guy on there made. Um, Perfect, uh, perfect sense. Good points. This is the second time that Dan Mullen has lost his team. Now, before I, what I mean by lost the team is let's think back to last year's bowl game against Oklahoma. Florida got yeah. absolutely annihilated. Now that team, that 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 you know Kyle Trask, Kyle Pitts, heading to the NFL. A lot of those Kadarius Tony, obviously those guys are all in pro uniforms and playing on Sunday now. Yes. Um, he lost the team for that game, period. Right. Now he's lost the team again. The team is I, again, I again I'm not lunch, game, man. Though I don't I don't have the inside like I do with USF where I get to go to the games and talk to other media guys that cover USF football and get their intentions. By the way, guys, I will be at my final USF game tomorrow night. They play Cincinnati uh, at six o'clock mm. at Raymond James Stadium. Um, but the, the um the thing with Florida is he's lost the team again, and now they have three games left. The next game coming up, they should win. It's a cupcake game. Missouri is the game after that. That game is going to be a question mark, and then the Florida State game I think is also a question mark. And yeah. I'll be at that game awesome. in a couple weeks. The day after, I'm, I'm leaving on Black Friday. To drive to Ocala, then the next day on Saturday is the game. Um, is the cupcake game. Uh, Sanford is the cupcake game this week. Uh, Sanford, I call it a cupcake. Sanford is not that 
It's not, no, it's no, not Stanford. It's not Sam. Sam. Yeah, yeah, it's not Stanford. That's not really a cupcake game. Stanford. Yes. Yeah. No. They're yeah, like one in seven. They're terrible. Yeah, I don't think Florida. If Florida loses this week, then we have. Dan Mullins should be Dan fired. Dan Mullins will be fired. Well, he yeah. won't be fired. He will be summarily executed on the sideline. Correct. Oh, yeah. In front well, of the firing squad. There is a college game going on right now as number 21 Pitt is up over North Carolina 23-7. Uh, it was a fast game be North Carolina. Yeah. Again, tomorrow, um, the Bulls are at home against Cincinnati, the number five team in the country. The Bearcats are a 23 point favorite with the over under being 57 and a half. Um, I think Cincinnati probably, I don't know if they'll oh, cover. Weird. I knew they had no, beat somebody no. interesting this year. Okay, uh, what was up? Sorry, sorry. I got, I was looking at stuff. My bad. Uh, the, uh, bad. the line is 23. Oh, are we looking at tomorrow's game? Well, yeah, yeah. let's go back to last week's games real quick. We always yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go back to week 10 in college football. Um. Hmm. So again, let's see when my screen loads up here. Um. There we go. Okay, so Georgia handled Missouri forty-three to six last week. Alabama barely got by LSU. I think it was a. They hold them on fourth down. I think. To get yeah. That game that was closer, close game. We Purdue, got that one right. Purdue upset Michigan State, which. Yes. Let me say this right now. I hope Purdue beats Ohio State this week. I really do. I, I hope they know. do. That's going to be hard, but I hope they do. I would. I, I hope they're undefeated. Um, Oregon. I hope, I hope they're undefeated in number three. Oregon beat Washington twenty six sixteen. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know, Bud, until last week that that's actually a rivalry game. Those two teams oh, yeah. don't like each other at all. Oh yeah. So I didn't know how how big that 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 game it's was. Pac twelve, man. Yeah. Um, Ohio State beat Nebraska twenty six. I watched some of that game. Um, Scott Frost. Uh, Scott Frost can't catch a break. I just he's in trouble. He, he can't catch a he break in trouble. Nebraska. No. Um, Cincinnati barely beat Tulsa twenty eight to twenty. Should have lost that game. <laughs> um, see, this is something that I don't. I. This is why and I And this think, is why they will this is why they're not gonna make the playoff. True. I, I agree. It's because I agree. It, you know as much as you gotta win the games, you gotta you gotta beat your opponents the way you're supposed to beat them. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't take you can't at home you can't have a goal line stand in the last two minutes to win the game. I you know against what? against the as against a far inferior inferior team. Yes, it's not I, like they. I just have a funny feeling that they're going to be in more trouble tomorrow than I think a lot of people will tell them. I'm just gonna say that way. I don't think USF can beat Cincinnati. I'm not saying that. I just think that Cincinnati. And you know what? I was talking earlier. I think if I'm Jeff Scott, I would right. say this: guys, our season's over. We're two and six. Right. Mm-hmm. Time to play spoilers, we're boys. Game. We got two games. We got three games left. We got Cincinnati, Tulane, and then of course UCF. So if we can ruin their season, this is it right here. You want to ruin somebody's season? This is how we do it. Go out there. I don't give a crap what you do. Get a penalty. Right. I don't care. Play it. Have fun. You never know what might happen. We had we had an opening yep. kickoff last week. USF had the opening kickoff for a hundred yards for a touchdown. Opening kickoff. And two of them. Week. Two of them. Last week. So, again, I yeah. got to see an NCAA record while I was there in person. Two right. yard returns for a kickoff, returns for a touchdown. So, again, yes, you're right. Cincinnati never – that game shouldn't even have been close with Tulsa. No, it should have never been a contest. And that's why I don't think that you can say that they're going to – so you put them four, right, and they play Georgia or Alabama. You know, you put them at no four way. and they play Georgia they or Alabama. Annihilated. They're going to get destroyed. Annihilated. Yeah, annihilated. Yep. It's not even going to be a contest. <laughs> And I mean, against, especially against the, you know, we're going to put them over a one loss Ohio State or Michigan. Yeah. Or, or, or Michigan State. State. Or Michigan State. One of the two. Yeah. One of the three. Or Oklahoma, an undefeated Oklahoma team. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to pray that USF has a great game tomorrow night and beats them. Right. That would yeah. be great. <laughs> to, and then, and then just put, every, put them out of everybody's misery and, yeah. 
we can just move on because they don't deserve to be there. And this is why this is why none of these non power five teams get get a look. Yeah. It's because you can't you can't struggle against a below average opponent. This this is not like they went on the road to a they didn't go to a they didn't come to the they didn't come to the big house. They didn't go on the road to I mean, yeah, sure, they beat Notre Dame, but Notre Dame's been terrible this year. They've been below below Notre Dame's average. I mean, yeah. they, they didn't go to Alabama and, and, and beat Alabama by a touchdown. That's the only loss that the Irish have, but this year. Right. Cincinnati. So that's the only loss they have. I mean, yep. and Cincinnati, Cincinnati looked good against the Irish, but then they played down to uh, Tulsa. That's, that's like I said. I hope I hope they play down tomorrow night. I really do. I hope they play down to USF. Uh, yeah. And the USF beats them. Because if that's the case, the team that I saw in the first half last week. Against, Should have won that game. Yes, we've had a lot of those yes. games. USF's had a lot of those games. It's 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 a tale, a tale of two halves. Yeah. They either play really good in the first half and then whiz it out right. the window Trash in the second half, right? Or they get so right. far behind that they can't get back into it in the in the in the second half, right? Um, Michigan beat Indiana twenty nine to seven. They did. Um, North Carolina beat but, Wake. Go ahead, but but um, okay. Blake Corum left early. With a right leg injury, and is questionable for the game for the Penn State game. Okay, is that is that a noon game on Saturday? Yeah, it's That's a noon kick. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just talking about North Carolina. They beat Wake Forest fifty eight fifty five. What a hell of a ball game that was. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Notre Ugh. Dame beat Navy thirty four to six. Army beat Air Force, which means Army will retain the commander in chief trophy. trophy. No matter even if they lose or win against Navy, uh, they 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 get it because it's a tie. Um, Oklahoma State beat West Virginia twenty four to three. TCU beats Baylor. I know, right? There you go. I was watching that game. (sighs) Yep. Um, I was wrong, guys. About go ahead. I said, "Come on, Baylor! I had you this week." Yeah. I was wrong about the Auburn game. You guys right about the A&M game. I had Auburn winning that game, and they lost 20-3 to to the Aggies. Um, no, that's okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's, I just, you know, I figured both. Well, you both, had, you both had Michigan State, and I had Purdue, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Um, I mean, no, I, I, told, I went back and rewatched the tape because yeah. I wanted to hear the show. And uh, I was the thing like, is that, you know, Michigan State blew out, you know, beat Michigan a close one. Last weekend they and they dropped. And they, Michigan State was dropped like a rock. And it's like Michigan State's gonna—they're due for a letdown. I mean, they were so high after beating Michigan that they just didn't come out and play well against against Purdue. Yeah. And then the then the Big Ten admits that they made a mistake, and the the Hayden Hutchinson touchdown should have counted, and Michigan should have had a touchdown that got taken off the board. Mm-hmm. And I mean, there were at least a dozen calls that, that should have been made. Uh, on on Michigan on the uh, Michigan State O line, Michigan State's not really that good of a football team. I mean, they got no. they got a couple of big runs. They and you know, it's just frustrating that Michigan's offense kicked so many field. And Michigan's Michigan's offense it just, it shoots itself in the foot, and it's been a bugaboo for the last four years. Yeah, as you can't score in the damn red zone, can't score touchdowns. I mean, kick all the field goals in the world, but if you can't score touchdowns, you're not going to win. Right. Uh BYU beat Idaho State 5914. Um I pump on you good. Ole Miss beat Liberty 2714. Uh, Arkansas upsets Mississippi State 3128. Tennessee on the road. Uh, um I know that one was disappointing because I had Kentucky in that one too. Um NC State beat Florida State. Uh-huh. I, I had NC State, yep. Illinois beat Minnesota fourteen to six. I know, and I taken Minnesota too. Uh, Wisconsin beat. Roll you had taken Rutgers. Illinois, so you got that one. Fifty-two to three. Um, Iowa beat Northwestern seventeen to twelve. Boise State beat Fresno State forty to fourteen. Uh, San Diego State beat Hawaii seventeen to ten, and then Pitt, who's playing right now, beat Duke fifty-four to twenty-nine. So that is the top twenty-five from last week in college football as far as the scoreboard goes. So let's, again, there's a game going on right now between North Carolina and Pitt. 
and they're at the half with uh, the Panthers up 23 to seven over the Tar Heels. Mm. Um, so again, tomorrow night uh, is USF's final home game of the season. They're a 23 point underdog with the over under being 57 and a half. Um, I don't think Cincinnati covers. I think USF keeps it close. Yeah. I don't know. The over under, I don't know because South Florida has been putting up points. So yeah, they have a point how that's going to go. I, I, again, I'm not saying right here on air that I think USF can beat Cincinnati. If they play a complete game like they do, say, in the first half or a second half, yes. Mm-hmm. If they don't – And they can put a whole half together. Or if yeah. they can put a whole game together. Yeah. So, again, I, 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 I would say this. I would say I would take since I would take South Florida – Overall, and the over under, I think I take the I think I take the under. I don't think they're going to get to fifty eight points. Maybe they will. Maybe I'll take the over. Take the take South Florida. You know, South Florida. You take Cincinnati to win, South Florida to cover, okay. and the Correct. over, and the over. Correct. I like that. Correct. I I don't think they'll win outright. No, I don't think so either. Now again, it would be great because if they, it do, would be great, but that would be awesome. I just don't see that happening. No. Um, on Saturday, at 12 o'clock, the number two tied are at home against New Mexico State. The line is 51 for Alabama, over under 67. 51 point favorites? 51 point favorites. No way. No. They'll win, but they definitely won't cover. Um, yeah, give me Alabama the points and the over. Alabama yeah. rolls. The next game up is at noon. Michigan is on the road in Happy Valley to play the Penn State Lions. Uh, Michigan win. one and a half point favorite with the over under being forty eight and a half. Michigan should roll. Michigan should yeah. absolutely go in there and absolutely destroy Penn State. They should yeah. run up and down the field all day long. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I think it'd be a lot closer. Penn State, than Penn State's terrible. They, they are. They're. They've lost to Illinois. In a game that shouldn't have been close at all, Michigan should just go in and dominate this year, um, do yeah, and right. do something they haven't done in the Harbaugh era, and win in Happy Valley. Yeah, um, I'm taking the Michigan. I'm taking, so happy. I'm taking Michigan the points. Yeah, okay. and the over. So yeah, I know you guys over. got the joke or not? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the next game may be the Big Twelve championship preview between number eight Oklahoma and number 13 Baylor. The uh, Sooners are five and a half point favorite with the over under being 62. Boomer Sooner all the way. Yes. All right. You say 52? Okay. Um, the next game at noon is the Mississippi State Bulldogs on the road to play the Auburn Tigers. Auburn is a five and a half point favorite with the over under being 50. Auburn wins and gets the points. Mm. When you say the Mississippi State, Mississippi State, correct. They're five and four overall. The Tiger, the Auburn is six and three overall. Mm. Yeah, Auburn. Auburn, okay. Uh, the next one at noon is Northwestern on the road in Madison to play the Badgers. Wisconsin's a twenty-four and a half point here with the over/under being forty-one. Wisconsin. Yeah. Wisconsin wins, but Northwestern takes the points. Yeah, Northwestern covers. Yeah. Take the under. Uh, the first the game at 2 o'clock is the number 24 Utah Utes on the road against Arizona. Utah's a 24 point favorite with the over under being 54. You know Utah's, what? Are you going to take it up there? Arizona? Okay. I'm on Utah. No, okay. Utah had the points in the over. Uh, here is a game at three thirty. Probably will be on CBS nine times out of ten. Number one, Georgia on the road in Knoxville to play Tennessee. The uh, line is 20, 20 points for the Bulldogs. The over under is fifty six. Georgia wins. Tennessee covers. Okay. And the over. And the over. Okay. Um. 3.30 is the 19, excuse me, the number 19 Purdue Boilermakers on the road in Columbus to face the Buckeyes, who are 8-1 and one overall, 6-0 and oh in the Big Ten. 
The Buckeyes are a 21-point favorite with the over-under being 62 and a half. Ohio State, but Purdue covers. Exactly. Okay. And the under. I agree with that. Yes. Um, the next uh, game is in Iowa. The Golden Gophers are on the road to play the Hawkeyes. Uh, the Hawkeyes are a five-point favorite. The over-under is 37. Yikes. Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, yeah and the under. Okay. Uh, the number 23 UTSA is at home against Southern Miss. They road are road. a 33-point favorite with the over-under being 54 and a half. They're the road runners, right? Is that who they're? Yep. Maybe. All this? Okay. Mm-hmm. They're nine and zero on the season and five and zero in conference. You would say Southern Miss. Southern no. Miss. No. Okay. Yeah. U- UTSA the point. UTSA the yeah. over and the points. Okay. The yeah. four o'clock game has the Maryland Terrapins on the road in East Lansing to play the Spartans. Miss against State is a thirteen point favorite with the over under being sixty one. State the points in the under. Michigan State. Okay. All right. Um. At seven, we have a top 25 matchup between the Aggies and the Ole Miss Rebels in Oxford. Mm. So that's where Ole Miss mm. calls home. Uh, Texas A&M is a two-and-a-half point favorite with the over-under being 57. Texas A&M. Yep. Ole Miss. In Ole the Miss. Upset, my, Ole, Miss, Ole Miss, my upset special of the, year, of the week. Okay. okay. Um, the next game is in Notre Dame on the road in Charlottesville, Virginia, to play the Cavaliers. The Irish are Notre a, five, a half point favorite with a sixty-four over under. Irish all the way. Irish, Irish the points in the under. That's right. a prime time game, you said, right? Yeah, seven thirty on ABC. Good, good. I like it. I like it. Um, the next game is the number sixteen NC State Wolfpack on the road against the number twelve Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Wake is a two-point favorite with the over-under being 66 and a half. You feeling NC State? If, I'm this was a NC Bas- State. if this was a basketball matchup, I would take probably Wake Forest. But in this case, I think I'm going to take NC State. Yeah. Yeah. It's in- yeah. Now, they're in Winston-State with North Carolina. Obviously, there's three three ACC teams that call North Carolina home. <laughs> or Four. How four of them, excuse me, four of them that call North Carolina. At home. least four. Yes, yes. Yeah. NC State, Wake Forest, Duke, and North Carolina. So, yeah. this game is over. Um, the next game is the number 25 Arkansas Razorbacks on the road in Death Valley to play the LSU Tigers. Arkansas is a three-point favorite with the over-under being 59. Wow, road home, road, a home dog for the Tigers. Wow. Uh, Arkansas. Yeah. yeah, Arkansas. Arkansas? Okay. Yes. Yep. Um, the 8 o'clock game is on Fox. That's a primetime game. The T- TCU is on the road in Stillwater, Oklahoma, to play the Cowboys. Oklahoma State's a 12-point favorite with the over-under being 54 and a half. Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah. But, but TCU can cover. Um, <laughs> the next game is a 10-30 game on ESPN. It's in Eugene as the Washington State Cougars go on the road to play the Ducks. The Ducks are a 14-point favorite with the over-under being 57 and a half. Oregon. Oregon, the points in the over. Yes. Okay. And the last top 25 matchup is Nevada on the road against San Diego State. Uh, the Aztecs are a three-point favorite with the over-under being 45 and a half. San Diego State. San Diego State. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that will wrap up the NCAA for this week. Christ. So now we'll go to the National Football League, and we'll go discuss last week's games. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, I guess the biggest upset God, would be we got Jaguars. Crushed. Yeah, Jaguars beating. We got them. we got absolutely crushed last week. Um, how did you do? How did you do, Bud, in fantasy last week? I won last week. I won in spite of you. In spite of <laughs> Josh Allen. Yeah, the the other Josh Allen, right? <laughs> right. The other Josh. Both Allen. of them. My um my roommate who I I helped him pick his team. We actually it came down to the Chicago, uh, Steelers game. We had to have Chicago's defense. 
or Chicago's offense score points. The other guy had Pittsburgh's defense, and we won. Even though nice. Chicago, let me just rephrase that before we go on. Chicago should have won the Monday night game. They got cheated by the referees. Yes, so yes, yes. Say that right now. That taunting call was That's absolutely right ridiculous. Call. They have to get rid of. They have to get rid of the taunting call. They have. They have to do something about that. Yeah, you can stop taunting. Yeah, I. You know. I mean, just because they change. Just because that's the way you've always done it, they changed the rule. Yeah. The rules are the rules have been modified. I was thinking about this before I came on the air because I wanted to, wanted to, I figured you, I figured it would be brought up, but I, I, they changed the rule going into the season. You can't make any kind of gestures. You can't look over at the other sideline. You can't get in anyone's face anymore. And that's exactly what he did. And it's like when they changed the they changed the speed limit on the highway. Just because you've always gone 55 through there doesn't – well, now it's 40. Just because you've always done it that way, you can't do it that any way anymore, and you're going to get – you're going to get – if you get caught, you're going to get penalized for it. And that's exactly what he did. He looked at the other sideline and made a gesture. And right, wrong, or indifferent, that is the way the rule is written, and that was the proper call. Okay. You don't have to like the rule. Yeah. You can say the it's a bad rule, but it wasn't the wrong call. Was the whole shenanigans with the ref throwing a hip into him bizarre? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was weird. But the, the, the call was the right call. So now I personally I, I think I, I think what, what what really stemmed that was we go back, I think it was twenty nineteen, because twenty twenty there wasn't a lot of you know, everybody was kind of, you know, getting off the field as soon as you, because you didn't want to be in close contact with anybody any longer than you had. Had to be, but in, there was a game where Cam, it was, a, it was Jameis Winston. So it was a Buccaneers uh, Saints game. And there was a, an issue. There's a taunting issue. And um, one of the Saints players came in and absolutely just decked Jameis Winston, started a big brouhaha. Mike Evans yeah. retaliated. I remember watching. That. Right. TV. And and so and I think that's where you're getting a lot of the a lot of the calls stem from the wanting to get the you just get back to the sideline. Don't just plays over, plays done with. Get back to your huddle, mm-hmm. move on to the next play. And I think that's you know the the stemming trying to stem those is something I complain about the NHL all the time is every after every whistle. Especially any whistle in front of the net, you've got all five players down there banging away on each other, and you spend 30, yep. 40 seconds separating them all, and you're bogging the game down, and you get, you get four or five or ten, you get ten of those different little scrums every period, and that's an extra four minutes that, that TB has to stay with the game. Mm-hmm. And that means it cuts into the next, the next, the next programming block. Yep. Whatever TV has scheduled next, mm-hmm. they paid for the they paid for the rights to be on the air, and so every time you have a an altercation, whether it be in, in football or baseball or basketball or hockey or any of the other, you know, every time you have to take time getting everybody separated and and mm-hmm. nobody gets any penalties or anything, everybody just gets separated. I think that's a lot of what why they're cracking down on the on the taunting is because every time yes. it, it can, you know it, it, you know you start somebody says something somebody says somebody else yes. and next thing you know you've got yeah. pushing and shoving and you're just bogging the game down mm-hmm. yeah. Well, last week, guys, the Thursday night game, uh, the Jets played Indianapolis. The Colts won 45-30. to 30. Um, Yeah. The Browns beat the Bengals 41-16. Now, OBJ is now with the Rams, as it was wow. today. Um, yeah. The Broncos, yep. the Cowboys, that had to be a shocker, I think. Uh, that was huge. I think if they would have kept uh, Prescott one more game, I eh? Captain uh, Cooper Rush, that might have been a different outcome. Uh, the Dolphins beat the Texans 17 to 9. 
mm. as uh, yeah. urinating tree called that the tank bowl. Uh, on right. his annual yes. weekly uh, NFL thing. Uh, the Falcons actually hung on to a – came back and didn't fall late, winning mm -hmm. 27-25 over the Saints. That was a big division win for Atlanta. Right. Uh, um, Get the Giants, the hunt. Yep, the Giants upset the Raiders 23-16 at home. At I didn't home. see that one coming. Uh, the Patriots won 24-6 over Carolina. Yeah. Um, the, again, we already talked about the Jaguars' bills. Jaguars beat them 9-6. to six. What a terrible game. <laughs> the, uh, this game's even worse. <laughs> the Ravens beat the Vikings 34-31 in overtime. Right. Um, San, uh, San Diego, excuse me. Los Angeles beat the Eagles 27-24. Um, the Chiefs took care of Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love didn't look too good. He didn't look too bad. I mean, I don't know. He looked like pedestrian. Ball. Yeah. Um, um, go ahead. I just want to bring that up that Green Bay, I think, um, if I'm hearing correctly, Rodgers will be back this week, right? Am I, I believe so, yes. Correct. That, that was my understanding. He, he would be eligible to return this week. Um, if I am a Packers fan, mm -hmm. I want them to do everything they can to keep Aaron Rodgers because Jordan Love's not the answer. No. I don't think I don't I don't I, I think what it is, but if you look at him, I don't think he's ready. I, I, I don't he doesn't no. have enough experience. Oh, God, no. And he no. showed that he showed yep. that, you know, on on Sunday afternoon. So right. um yeah, no. Uh, he yeah, that that's they, they yeah, you're right. They they need to be they need to panic. They need to worry because if they yeah. lose yeah, it's it's downhill real if quick. If Aaron walks at the end of the year, go somewhere else. Yeah, they're in trouble. Yep. Um, Arizona bounces back with a short cast and wins thirty-one seventeen over the 49ers. Could, yeah. Um, the Titans. I thought the Monday night game and Sunday night game both were entertaining. Uh, yeah. See, beating LA was that was a good football I think game. More so the Monday night game. Yeah, the Monday night game got good at the end. Tennessee in kept the Rams. I'm not talking just that field goal. It looked closer than I thought. Oh, you're talking about the Santos field goal at the end of the game? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I Now, to me, Lewis, it looked like it hit the up. It hit the crossbar. Yeah. But then after you go back and look, he didn't even come anywhere near the crossbar. Mm. From what I mm. – the view I yeah. saw. So, I don't know. I mean, I could okay. be wrong. Yeah, that, that, was a, that, was a, that was a trick call. Because I think he was what he had to be three or four yards short. It was he wasn't. At I mean, least, he, yeah, yeah. But then again, it was oh, a sixty-five yard field goal in Pittsburgh. You know, yeah, not yeah. picking the you ball. Don't see in, that very often in LA or in Seattle, where the <laughs> the air is right. The Troy in a dome, mm -hmm. in a dome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that I was, mean, just to get it close at sixty-five. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's got to be heartbreaking, man. Yeah. You know that if you put, you took a little bit more, put a little bit, and got a little bit more under it. Right. I mean, got a little bit flatter, yeah. you probably could have made it. Yep. Um, right now, uh, it's getting ready to go into the half. The game is tied at three. Uh, a dog. Between the I Ravens mean, and the Dolphins. I told you um, this game was bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I um, starting the one o'clock games, you have the. Atlanta Falcons on the road in Dallas. The Cowboys are a nine-point favorite with the over/under being fifty-four and a half. Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. Okay. Atlanta covers in the okay. under. Okay. I don't think so. You, you think, think Dallas so? rolls all the way through? Okay. All right. Um, the next game is the Saints on the road in Tennessee. The Titans are a three-point favorite with the over/under being forty-four. I'm going with the Saints. Saints, okay. Against Tennessee? Against Tennessee, yep. In Tennessee. In Tennessee. Tennessee's at home. No, Titans. What was the what was 20? The, uh, the line is three. The over-under is 44. Tennessee, the uh, Tennessee, the points, and the under. Okay. Um, The next game is in Indianapolis at one. It's the Jaguars on the road against the Colts. Colts are a ten and a half point favorite with the over under being forty seven and a half. Colts win and they take and they uh Yeah, Colts cover. Oh, the Colts 
Yeah, Colts points in the over. Hopefully, Jonathan uh, Taylor has like 40 points this week. <laughs> the next game is Cleveland on the road in New England. The Patriots are two and a half point favorite. The over under being 45. I'm taking the Browns. I want to take the Browns too. Okay. As much right. as that pains now, me to say. Is gone, that should be better. They looked better last week without him. Yeah. He's a prima donna. He's in, he's in he's in L.A. now. Uh, he can yeah. be a donna oh. there. With, along, along with Vaughn Miller. I don't know where the Rams have all this salary cap space, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, the next game is the Bills on the road in the Meadowlands to face the Jets. The Bills are Bills have to bounce back. A point favorite with the over-under being 47. I think they go against, against my team, but I have to go with the Bills. Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Do you think they cover? No, Bills, Bills. Bells roll. Bills the points in the in the over. Yes. The uh, next game is Detroit is on the road in Pittsburgh. The Steelers are an eight point favorite. The over under is forty two and a half. Steelers are gonna kill them. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'd be shocked yeah. if the Lions even manage eight points. Yeah. Just to be kind. I know, right? Uh, the last one o'clock game. Is the Buccaneers are on the road in Landover to play the Washington football team? The Bucks are a nine point favorite with the over under being 51. Bucks. Bucks. Okay. Cover. Okay. Uh, to start the four o'clock games, you have Carolina on the road against Arizona. The Cardinals are a 10 and a half point favorite with the over under being 44. Cardinals win, but Carolina, I think, will cover. Bucks. Okay. Mm. okay. Uh, Arizona, um, the uh, Arizona, the points and the under. Okay, all right. Uh, Minnesota's on the road in Los Angeles to play the Chargers. The Chargers are a three point favorite at home, over under being 53. Chargers, Chargers, all right, and the under. No, okay. Chargers win. Um, the next game would be the Eagles on the road in Denver. The Broncos are a two and a half point favorite with the over under being 45 and a half. Broncos. Eagles. Eagles? Okay. Broncos. All right. The uh, last of the 425 games has the Seattle Seahawks on the road in Lambeau to play the Packers. The Packers are a three and a half point favorite with the over under being 49 and a half. Packers. Yeah. All right. Um, the Sunday night game has the Chiefs on the road in Vegas. To play the Raiders, the Raiders. Chiefs are a two and a half point favorite. The over under mm-hmm. is fifty two. Raiders, Raiders, Chiefs, Chiefs. Okay, <laughs> all, right. all right. And the Monday night game is the Rams on the road in Santa Clara to play the Forty Nine ers. The Rams are a four point favorite. Yeah, under being forty nine. Rams, Rams. They ought to bounce back this week. And the bye week this week is for Chicago, Cincinnati, the Giants, and the Houston Texans are on the bias this week. Oh, okay. mm. so that is the NFL scoreboard for the week. Um, again, I the last week, you know, I think with the the Giants beating the Raiders, Jacksonville beating Buffalo, I think were the two. Yeah, is it? Well, I think it was yeah. an anomalous week. You always you have one of those. Yeah, you have a couple of those weeks every year. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, I mean, you well, I think, but just like in college, I think you have what you call trap games, and I think yeah, definitely Buffalo game against Jacksonville. You could call that a trap game. I mean. I know it's not so much common in the NFL as more than it is common. No, really, and I wouldn't even call it a trap game because trap game for it to be a trap game, you have to be facing a, a stiffer, you know, um, be looking looking ahead to the next week. And I suppose you could call it a trap game because of who Jacksonville and what they are, but I mean, I really wouldn't be looking looking ahead to to wa- the, the New England yeah, or New the York. Jets, the Jets, yeah. Yeah. Jets, yeah. Now with the with the Raiders, I can definitely see that being a trap game because they have. They have Kansas City this week. You know, you're thinking that one's going to be a win, and you're looking, you're looking ahead to the um, this week, and you know you're assuming that you're going to win last week, and you're looking, you're you're already looking ahead to this week, and trying to yeah. get a jump on this week. Um, 
I definitely think that Green Bay is in trouble without Aaron Rodgers. Okay. I, I definitely think that Aaron Rod- that Jordan Love, maybe it's just because he, you know, he's inexperienced, and in that, that, that there's a lot to be said about that. Um, but he just, I did not see what I needed to see out of him to make me believe that he has what it takes to be a top tier NFL quarterback. Um, I think, I I think it comes from lack of experience. Um, obviously I think that happens when you are replacing pot, it most likely going to be a sure about hall of famer. Uh, right. Said and done. I mean, I think, I mean, I, I was earlier today, I was out at uh, Spectrum with my friend and they saw Patriots and they, everybody asked me what they think of Mac. I think Mac's doing a great job. I, I really mm-hmm. do. I think Mac is doing a, yeah. Mac needs weapons. They can run the football. The Patriots are a running mm-hmm. team. We all know that. Um, but I think if they get him some weapons. And experience. Experience. See, there's where I think a guy like him. See, I think he, it, it, the, it reminds me, but of the whole thing with Peyton Manning leaving Indianapolis and Andrew Luck coming in is kind of yeah. the same thing in New England. Tom Brady yeah. left, Mac Jones comes in. Um, I know Cam Newton was the starter when it was all said and you know, start with. I think we all kind of knew that that was going to be a short experiment. Obviously, he did sign today with Carolina, right? Uh, so he's back where he all started his career. <laughs> Um, he's back where it all started. Um, right. But yeah, I mean, I think the Rams got OBJ today. They signed Von, they got Von Miller on the trade deadline. So I think right. Miller would be eligible to play uh, Monday Night Football. I think they said last week when he was playing that he's, oh, he's eligible to come back or he's coming off of his injury. So, right. Yeah. So we'll see. We will see how that how that goes um, for uh, the Rams. But again, um, do you, does anybody know where College Game Day is this week? I didn't even. Look I do not. Day. I haven't heard. I know. I'm. I know. I heard, but I forget. Where Knoxville? Are they in Knoxville? They're covering the Tennessee game. I would think ah. so. It looks like Oxford, Mississippi. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad since Ole Miss is playing. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I tell you, yeah, they're in they're they're in game they're in Oxford this weekend for okay. Ole Miss and Texas A and M. Texas A and M. Okay. Mm. Gotcha. All right. All right. So yeah, let's see here. They. Yeah. Next week they're in Columbus for the Michigan State Ohio State game. Week 13, they're at the Iron Bowl in Auburn. Mm. Week 14, they're at the SEC Championship game in Atlanta. And then the last week, they are at the Army-Navy game in East Rutherford. I, mm. I, I, I guess I don't ever miss that football game. I don't, know. It's a, <laughs> I don't no. miss the Army-Navy game. <laughs> Any year, I don't miss the Army-Navy no. game. No, 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 no. When we talk about – we talked about that every time, every time this year, we talk about games that you want and the games that you don't miss. And that – right up there you know yeah um, especially things that as it's a 3 30 kick usually right it's it's the last it's yeah. the last saturday of college football mm-hmm. um you won't have any games for a couple weeks um i mean it, it doesn't matter whether it's a good game or not because you know that game means so much more than just football right you know right. i know we, we talk about great rivalries and, and that game is so much more than just a rivalry game mm-hmm. because you know, they at the drop of a hat, they could go be go from playing against each other for fighting for all of us. Yep. Yes. They could literally they 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 could be literally in the middle of the game, and have to stop the game, and and, and go to battle stations, scramble, and and be and and within days or weeks be at war. Yep. Yes. You know, and I mean, you know, I I don't think it's I think it's more than just you know. It's not. I mean, it is a rivalry game, and it's a great rivalry. But to me, it doesn't beat Auburn, Alabama. No, no, no. 
I, 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 yeah, I I've never that. experienced a rivalry game like Auburn Alabama. I mean, I was working. This is the first Iron Bowl that I ever was in in Alabama for it was 2013. It was the 2013 Iron Bowl, and and Auburn is they were a couple years removed from the championship, and Alabama was getting ready to make its dominant run. Mm-hmm. And I was working at Walmart at the time, and uh, there were like five people in the store from 3.30 till 7. And we got a bit of a pop after 7. But there wasn't anybody in there during the Iron Bowl. Well, we was were that, all, that was in the Chris Davis game. Was it just soft chance? Uh, kick six. Yeah, that was the Chris Davis game then, right? It was kick six. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was kick six. Because half of us were down there. We'd, we'd be waiting at our registers. Okay, nobody's coming. We'll go down here to the bank, watch the game. Oh, somebody's coming, run back up to the front of the store. Check them out. Run back down there to the, the bank. Then run back up to the front. Check them out. Run back to the back. Check them out. Run. <laughs> yeah, we did that. We did that for the whole game. Wow. And my my well, buddy who was. I, I have to ask, but you you being a Big Ten guy, you rank Auburn, Alabama over Michigan, oh, Ohio State. Oh God, yes. Oh, of course. Really? Michigan, wow. Michigan, Ohio State doesn't shut the state down. No. It okay. doesn't shut the state I, down. I mean, I mean. I'm, I mean, I mean it's a great rivalry. Team, so you're preaching to the choir when you say that. I, I mean, mean, it's a great rivalry. It's a great rivalry. Don't get me no wrong. No question. No question. But, but when you struggle so much against your rival, kind of the mystique of it wears off after a while. True. I yeah. mean, I mean, if Auburn doesn't, you know, if Auburn goes on a big skid, and they lose five or six or seven in a row, I mean, I mean that rivalry may may go down in prestige, but. As long as Auburn thinks they have a chance every year, it shuts state down. Yes. I mean, I mean, we didn't, we didn't. I mean, I've you know, twenty three years in Mich- uh, Yeah, it would have been twenty one years in Michigan. Uh, Michigan Ohio State didn't shut the state down. I mean, didn't shut either state down. Auburn Alabama, nobody was out. I mean, I think we had from four thirty till or from three thirty till seven, which would have been uh, two thirty. 2.30 to yeah, 6.30 because yeah. where I was was on Central Time mm-hmm. when I right. lived in Alabama. And, um, yeah, there wasn't anybody in the store. Oh, had, Alabama, and, oh Alabama was is, is, uh, Central? Yeah. Alabama was on Central Time. Yep, there's Central yeah. Time. Yep. I am 30 yeah. minutes from the Dateline. I am as far west as you can be without being on Central Time. Okay. Well, I, I and I know when it comes to Alabama Auburn, I know those two schools don't like each other. Period. Hell no. Tuscaloosa and Auburn don't get along with each other. The no. city don't get along with each other. No. No. And, and I think wasn't it one year? Didn't Alabama fans toilet paper some sacred tree on the Auburn campus? Killed it. Yeah. Killed it. Killed it. Yes. Okay. They poisoned the tree on the Auburn campus. Yeah. A, a famous tree, right? That was yeah. Yeah. Campus. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 2009 or seven somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, but and 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 you know, don't get me wrong. The the Army Navy game is a great is a great rivalry, but it's so much more than just a rivalry game because when the game when when you take your helmets off and you put your shoulder pads up, you know you got to go to work with these guys. You know these yeah, guys. Yeah. You expect you know. I can hate uh you know I can hate Alabama every day of the week and twice on Sunday. I ain't gotta like them SOBs. You know, yeah. uh, and them them bastards from Tal- from Tuscaloosa. You know, I got two words for you: suck it. Well, and then you know the you cool know, thing and, about yeah. the Army Navy game or the Army Air Force game, for that matter, is both teams stay on the field for each other's out. You know, the fights, alma mater, alma yeah. mater songs. So yep, yep. obviously, the victor obviously celebrates. The more. loser goes first. Yeah. So uh, Air Force went first last Both week. Teams, yeah. And the Army went second. And then, and then, and then whoever wins the yeah. Army Navy game, it'll be that way too. Goes but again, first. yeah. Army Army gets the Commander in Chief trophy <laughs> even if they lose to Navy. Navy were to and win. The, it would be a tie. Yeah, I don't know about Navy winning. Right. No, I, I don't, don't think, think Navy's gonna win this year. Navy is pretty yeah. pretty brutal. Um but no, I mean I mean, yeah, I understand that, you know, it's a, a lot of people talk about it, you know, about the rivalry between the Army and Navy and how, you know, but at the end of the day, 
you, you know, you don't hate your brothers in the Navy. You don't hate your brothers in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but there, I, you know, I can imagine Alabama Navy and Auburn friend, fans going, I ain't going to war with any of them sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, and, uh, <laughs> no, no, and, and you're either wearing, uh, what, crimson and white or you're wearing blue and orange. Yeah. So, one of the yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, when, when it's all said and done, when everything, when everything's over after the football, I mean, you know, when you play, when you play college football, like, you know, at Auburn or, or Michigan or Ohio State or, or, or Stanford or USC, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, you pick a, pick a big school, even when you play at a, a small school like a Chattanooga, you know, or a Eastern Tennessee or any of the other oddball marshals, whatever, at the end of the day, that's your big, that's, that's your hard, that's your hard stuff for the day. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get done doing that, you know, you go to your classes, you do your schoolwork. Yeah, it might be tough. You might be an engineering student or, or yeah. a psych major or a, uh, whatever, whatever your degree is in. So you got, you know, you got your school and you got your football and then, you know, and then you get to have a life. But when you're in, when you're at one of the military academies, whether it be an actual military academy or it be one like a Citadel or any of the other militaries who have VI, VMI, Citadel. when you get done with, you know, you get done with football, then you got to draw your classes When you get done with all your classes. Then you got to do all your army shit, mm -hmm. you know? And, and so you don't get a break. You don't get to just no. be a young adult living, you know, living your best college life. You don't get to go party and hang out and, and you, know, you get done with, you know, you football in the morning, school in the afternoon, our military in the evening. Well, it's, it's funny that we're talking about the coincidence yeah. when you have yeah. veterans day. You're talking yeah. about the Army, Navy, Air Force, you know, right. all the military schools around the city. Yeah, the military nearby. academy. I mean, yeah. so you know, you, you think about the fact that, you know, when you get done being a football player, you got to go be a student. When you get done being a student, you got to go be, you know, a soldier. You got to go be in your branch, whether it be, you know, whether you're a sailor or a, or a soldier or a, you know, a Marine or a pilot. Yep. Or a pilot. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, 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 you know, whatever it may be that you have to go do, you know, and you're, you know, when you're done with school, you, you're no longer a student. When you're done long, when you're done with football, you're no longer an athlete. When you're done with, when, when you, when you're done being, you're never, you, you know, your oath never expires. Yeah. You're never done being a soldier. You're, you are from the time you sign on the dotted line. Until the time they put you in the ground, you're always so whatever, no, whatever you are, whatever branch you are in. Yeah, yeah. correct. That's right. Yeah, you know, you don't get to take. You know, you don't get to take the uniform off. And I, you and know, I, you, in, you, in, you all honesty, in all honesty, but I don't think that they they want to take the uniform off. No, branch, you, whatever you, branch you. you well, and especially, especially, yeah. especially those guys. You know. It's double the volunteer because not only do you have to be so to be to go to school at one of the military academies, you have to be you have to pass your physical. Yep. You have to pass your academics. Yes. You have to pass your entrance exam, and then you have to be recommended for a commission by a senator. Yep. And you have to be and. Then after that, you have to volunteer for all of that on top of all of that. Mm -hmm. Um. So you know it, it's one of the it's even more of a like you know if you were you know a student athlete going to Michigan or or any of the other the other schools around the country where if yeah. you want to go to school you can just you know you can at least walk on if nothing else. Right. Right. When you go to a military academy, you know, of course, you can walk on at a, at a you know, you will, yeah, but you have to be, prepared. you have to be appointed to go to the school. Mm -hmm. You have to get a letter of recommendation from a sitting senator in your state, and then, if you, and then you have to pass all your academics, pass your, your military entrance physical, and pass your military entrance, 
test that you have to take, score high enough in that, have good enough af- um, academics, on, and then on top of all that, then you can try out for the, then if you then you can walk on the football team. Well, I mean, and, and if you think if you think yeah. outside, obviously the Marine Corps, but if you think of the three te- the three the the three branches that have teams. Every campus is beautiful. West Point, oh, obviously. Yeah. Um, Annapolis. Annapolis and, and, you know, the Navy and then Colorado, Springs. Colorado Springs or the Air Force. Yeah. Right. Um, all three campuses are beautiful. And, I, of course, they've shown them on college game day. And, of course, that it doesn't do their due diligence and how beautiful. And, again, like you said, it's very, very um, – it takes a lot of – to get into those specific um, – you know, universities or campuses because of all the things you have to do to get into yeah. being in, being a, a cadet at the Naval Academy or being right. a, um, you know, going to, Ar- well, you know, yeah. going to, you know, going to West Point, um, you know, or going out to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. They're all cadets. I believe They're all, all cadets, of you. Right? All cadets. I believe yeah. so, yeah. So. I forgot that Sedell was, uh, was a brand, was part of a branch. Citadel is an is a military college. They no, are not affiliated. No, no. They're not affiliated with any one branch, but they are a military uh, institute, so, like VMI, Virginia military, in, Virginia military Institute. Virginia military institute. Virginia military. Okay, that's that's where yeah. VMI. Okay. They they're all they they you can you go there to get if you if you can't get a then you go there to go to school. Uh. Right. To get, and then you can be commissioned as an as a as an officer. Yes, that's where you go to school. If you don't go to one, if you're not going to one specific branch, you go to another. You go to a, a military institute to get schooling mm-hmm. and military training. I believe that's how that works. Somebody can correct me in the comment section if you get this far. <laughs> right. Well, um, go ahead. Oh no! I just. I was gonna say with that. Say, if you guys want to, any closing thoughts, gentlemen? Yeah, just a couple of closing thoughts. I think we put on a hell of a show. Yes, I went back. I went back and re-listened to this show last, from last week, and oh, yeah. Uh, other than my, other than I probably should invest in a better mic and stop belching on the on the stream. I think we put on a hell of a show. I need to quite be quiet because I talk way too much, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun working with you guys, and I look forward mm-hmm. to it every week. Yes, um, vice versa. Uh, I, I miss I miss when we're off. I mean, that'll be next it is week. nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is nice to take a break, but I do miss be I do miss being here. Same here. But we we will if you guys want we will do a show. I'm I'm Sunday down for it after oh, Thanksgiving. I, I, I was I, I was gonna say either one. Do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm I. I'm, I'm down for it at four I'm o'clock down. on Thanksgiving, yeah. so I'll be home. If we want to do a, if we want to do the, Lewis, the if normal, you're home, let me know. We can do it on Thanksgiving. If yeah, I think that'll be fun. Back till Sunday, wherever I wherever one. I am, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll let you know like the day, like uh, two days, a day or two before. Cool. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. So, guys, the next show again will be either on Thanksgiving Day or it will be the Sunday. Let's see, what is that day? That's the twenty seventh. No, the twenty seventh, twenty eighth. Because yeah. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be at the Gator Florida State game on the twenty seventh. The twenty eighth right. will be the game. Will be if this show will be back on. And uh, if if it is on Sunday, it'll be sometime in the afternoon. So like two, yes. three, four. All we right. won't be doing it at the typical it'll eight o'clock. Our, yeah, time just yeah. yeah, too late, too late with NFL yeah. on all day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, and I need to get be headed to. I yeah. usually I'm yeah I on yeah, Sunday nights I'm trying to head to bed by. On Sunday nights, I'm trying to head to bed by nine o'clock. So yeah, because I, I thought you said everybody would be heading. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> usually, I don't, usually I don't work on Friday. Usually I don't work on Fridays, so I don't mind being. I don't mind being up later on Friday on Thursday right. nights. So. So usually I don't work on Fridays. I'll let you know ahead of time what happens. Okay, right, sounds good. Do you want to let Lou and talk to tell them what's coming up on Saturday? All right. Well, first of all, the Enhanced Sports Show is on regular time, Saturday, 5 to 7 p.m. East Coast time, 4 in Alabama. Okay. Uh, bad to do that. Uh, we will discuss. Yes, please. 
uh, okay, we will discuss the uh, MLB awards part one. I don't know if I can get it all in the same day. So, well, uh, part one was covered with the Golden Gloves. I didn't say Golden Globes. I said not, Golden to be Gloves. not to be confused with the Golden Gloves. That's right. Um, maybe one part of the Silver Slugger before we take care of that next week. I did say it. I did say part one up on this up on my uh, web pages. Um, we'll continue with uh, the college football um, playoff push. Uh, Cincinnati is one of one spot. Oh, Can they get higher? We'll see. Uh, of course, our NFL and college football predictions. Uh, we'll, we'll even take care of how it's from the uh, New York and LA Marathon, which happened this past Sunday. That's right. Both happened the same day for the first time. I think we know why that happened. Both. Uh, I don't think we need an explanation on that. I think we know <coughs> that. Uh, and I did have something else. I did have something else. To, oh, of course. Oh, boxing and uh, UFC, because there were some pretty, uh, pretty interesting matchups that we had this week. And they also got something in the uh, senior citizen section for boxing as well. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you'll find, you'll find out, you'll find out if you tune in. So, if you dare to tune in, uh, call us there. And of course, we'll have our usual uh, features Shit, like the ridiculous sign of the week. And I have a great ridiculous sign of the week that you guys gonna love. Oh, well, you guys won't be there, but I, I guess I, I can tell you. It. I guess I can tell you. Uh, you guys are, of course, familiar with uh, NFL Countdown, right? Yes. Yes. Well, they did a segment on you know how they do like the pregame uh, wars and with the, with the songs and everything, and you know well they were doing sound bites of all of all the players doing Phil Collins in the air tonight off key as hell and I, I really mean, it was awful. And then the guys from NFL <laughs> Countdown were getting to about doing the drums like oh this is so ridiculous I got my ridiculous sign of the week we're all ready to go oh this is this is just too much. So, so I'm like, coming in here tonight. Wait, everybody! And then, oh course, come on! Of course, the uh, that song was made famous by what movie was starring, starring uh, what's the Hangover? The ha with well, Mike Tyson. That, that was no, no, it was way before. That was forty it's years ago. Tom man. Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. What what famous movie did Tom Cruise make that song famous in? What movie no, because no, that came out in nineteen eighty one. Risky business. Mm. That was that was uh, all time rock and roll, by the way. Risky business. Yep. Yeah. 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 He's right. It's all time rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. Rebecca Not DeMorne. Anymore. Well, but in the air of the night was played on the when they were on the train at the end of the movie. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm. Not so, the most famous yeah. scene. Um, the, yes, the most famous scene is yeah, old time rock and roll where he yes, yes he's his underwear. Right. I've wanted to do that for years. Yeah. Correct. Um. Mm. Two, uh, two it looks like two is going back in. Jacoby Brissett just got hurt. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, with that, guys. Well, uh, yeah. On that, on that happy note. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, this has been the Walk Report, part of NGSE Sports, part of In the Zone Sports Talk Radio, and part of Coast to Coast Entertainment. I want to thank the two gentlemen who join me every Thursday. Uh, make like Adam said, it makes the show great. Unfortunately. Once a month, we take a week off, so that'll be next Thursday. But we will be back either on Thanksgiving Day or the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, we'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know when, by, when we get to that point. It depends who passes out on Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, correct. Yeah, that's correct. Um, but I, again, I want to say I want to extend a happy Veterans Day to our veterans, both yes. the ones. Thank you for what you guys have done. We wouldn't be sitting here being able to do this without you guys doing what you do. Obviously, to our first responders as well, thank you for doing what you guys do daily. Uh, anybody that tuned in, thank you guys again. Uh, we love all you guys, everyone out there that supports the show uh, and everything else that we do. Uh, again, I think um, me making the decision to do one show a week has been very better for me as far as my, you know, I don't have to jam everything into two shows and have to figure out stuff for that. So I think doing this show and building this empire well we can i think is a, a good decision. right well, well i we, think it's i think yeah. well i think the thing about it is we, we just so we talked so much about that stuff anyway yeah there really didn't need to be two shows yeah no, we, we no. cover the jags we cover the the heat and the we, we hit the yeah. national stuff i don't really think that you know a florida centric show was really because because each of us bring our own our perspective Yes. You know, I bring that Midwest perspective. He brings that East Coast perspective, and you got Florida covered. 
So well, the only only team that we don't cover is would be the Rowdies. They're in the playoffs. Right. In the in, in the uh, well, you didn't bring them up. That's yeah, on the, you. It's not on us. It's on you. No, no, no. Them up. It's the USL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, can, right. They're there. It's in their soccer league that. Right. Uh, that's out hey, there. It's, but, it's this is your radio. You're driving this flying umbrella. Yeah. Bring them up. We'll talk about but, it. Uh, right. <laughs> with, that, with that in mind, uh, the show is sponsored again by CreatingZenSpaces.com. So, again, thank you guys for everybody that joined in this week. We will be back, guys, probably on Thanksgiving Day or the Sunday after. Until then, peace. Good night, folks.